What's up guys, Cyber Houdini here and welcome back to Biomutant, this brand new open world game. I'm enjoying the hell out of it from uh, a lot of the devs that worked on uh, Just Cause and Mad Max. It's a little mix of uh, Fable and The Witcher is the best way of uh, explaining it. I'm enjoying it so far, you get to pick out your own little raccoon ninja and change the DNA to make them as crazy as you like. You can have a small head, big head, tiny little thing. Giant tall, whatever you want. DNA slider. Then comes the combat from shooting to melee to magic. It's pretty damn fun. Hell yeah, I think we're close to the end now. We've been taking on a lot of these big bosses. There's a lot of cool little activities to do. It's post apocalyptic where the animals seem to have evolved and taken over, making up their own little language. What's left of the English language. It's cool. For their first game, uh, I think they've done a great job. Most indie developers start off with like 2D games, you know, 2D Metroidvanias. These guys have gone fully open world and tried to do something a little bit different. And it sure is different. It's also 10 bucks cheaper than most new games. So, if you're thinking of picking this one up, I definitely recommend it as a summer game. Maybe you'll get it on the, on the cheap. Maybe get it for 30 or 40 bucks. It'll be perfect price. Hell yes! Bio Mutant! Alright, let's get our booties in there. Our uh, booties. I booted it. I have booted the game. This is my booty. Okay. All right. I'm going to play some Demon Souls after this. We're, we're working our way through the bosses. We're on our way to a very famous boss, the Man Eater. I want to try and get the Platinum for Biomutant. It doesn't seem that hard at all. It doesn't seem out of the realm of possibility at all. I think I've already missed a couple. There's a couple with the World Eaters that are missable. Uh, which is fine. I can always just run back and get it. But uh, overall, it does not seem to be too tough. Which is nice. I love fun Platinums. You know, we just got finished with Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Super fun. Super hot. Okay. Let's get back in there. I think we're closing in on level 30 in this. I think the last level is, uh, trophy you need is for level 25. So clearly there's enough room right there. There's a new game plus as well, so what I'll probably do is mess around with that if I need to clean up some some trophies. I like that it always welcomes you to Biomutant. Welcome to Biomutant. I'd like to see where they go with this. I'd like to see them, um, you know, do something else with it. Maybe continue it as, as a franchise. You know, it's got that kind of feel to it like uh, Elix, which I've been playing, is getting a sequel in Gothic. And uh, Piranha Bytes games like, you know, Greedfall, you know, those it's got that kind of charm to it, you know, a little on the jank side, but nothing that uh, stops you from having fun. I think most games, even the big titles, have a little bit of jank, or just when they have an extra bit of polish, um, you don't notice it as much. But this game is split up into these beautiful biomes. It definitely is not uh, short of color, and that's what I love about it. Too many... Post-apocalyptic games are just like, alright, it's the end of the world, everything has to be grey and brown and green, that's it. But uh, this, you know, like that dull radioactive green, but this game's like, no, nature has taken back the world and it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, so pretty. It's all the difference a little saturation slider can do. Hello, oh, it's 50p, man, hello, hello there, man. Are you, are you, are you coming in on that name now? Is that, is that the, the full transformation on the 50p man how was your weekend how was your weekend did I, I i keep meaning to go and do some research on the poor 50p man then i forget all right cool i said we'd do this little uh, quest here you get uh suits for each of the the biohazard spaces one for radiation one for you know heat and now there's one for oxygen and i haven't done that one i think it's out in the middle of no man's land cool no man's land. But well, we can head off that way. Let's go to Snoidsburg. Snoidsburg. Hell yeah. This is going to be a good week. We're going to have a lot of new games. We're going to have the Witcher Con on Friday. And there has heavily been rumored about a Sony like state of play go coming. Or a PlayStation experience coming. Uh, we haven't heard anything yet. But they have been known to, like Nintendo, just announce it within days of it happening. So we'll see. We shall see. It might be pushed back to, to August. 
Do, de, do, do. I think I'm pretty powerful in this game right now, but we're, yeah, we're going to try and go for the Platinum. So today, if we take down that World Leader, I'll be happy and we can go through the trophies and clean up a couple of those. A lot of them seem to be just a matter of, um, you know, doing things a number of times. Uh, we're also pretty close to collecting all of the magic as well, which is really cool. Uh, our, our aura is pretty balanced, but we just... Oh, we have, have we've got them all lovely yes okay so we have this awesome attack boom it's like the ion cannon from command and conquer and then we have the key spark which is emperor palpatine inspired for sure i want to try all that stuff out main account that i use for streaming all right very cool very cool i was wondering when you were going to do that oh we got to go down one of these manhole covers let's do it these usually eat some goodies what is it all with some nasty steam that comes out of manholes Oh, it smells like it smells exactly what you think it smells like sewage absolute sewage man what's this biohazard material okay fine i think there's a, a trophy for like getting uh make it, crafting a five star weapon we'll see how i do with that all right come on you little shites ew let's try out our new key spark yes yes i can see everything so you can't, unfortunately the ion cannon, there we go, now we're level 30. You can't uh, use it indoors, which is crazy. Nice. And your, your magic and your stamina are based on the same bar, the blue, which I actually think is a really clever idea. Because it means like you don't want to get too greedy with the magic or you won't be able to dodge. It's pretty cool, I like it. Alright, let's see, so we've been rocking... A lot, a lot of strength. So maybe we'll put a little bit into vitality just so we won't be dying all the time. My girl likes to die all the time. All right, where is the mutations upgrade? No. Character. Where do we spend these? Here we go. Here we go. So we got a lot of these little points which look like uh, dog tags. So I just got to find something to spend them on. Super Wong Fu. A lot of these are all done. You just kind of get them. Hong Kong Fu Yi. Number one super guy. Crane dance. Let's buy up all of these. I probably won't use half of them, but that's cool. Got another tree. Perfect. Automatic rifles. Boom. Shotguns. I mustn't have made a shotgun or found a shotgun. Nice. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's clean this place out. Yeah, overall, this game hasn't been too difficult or anything. You can obviously uh, improve the differently, however you see fit. Let's say unstoppable duck. Cool. He does like a dive with the gun. That's pretty bad, ish. I must try that. There's one I actually did want to try. I think I just need to do now is link my Amazon account. Wait and do that when my sub expires. Yeah, they always make a little bit of trouble. Hello, Bernie. How's it going? They always make it difficult. Especially with a lot of it's like uh, American and versus Europe and all that. Uh, okay. How was your weekend? Did you have a good 4th of July weekend? I hope you did. Let's go. The character won't. There was a cool move I wanted to try out. Is it Praying Mantis? No. It's where he... He spins around. Okay, like kind of like that one. I think it might be... It's so fucking cool. Nope. Maybe it wasn't with the... Yeah, that's pretty badass. Maybe it's with the... Maniac Mule, is it? Yeah, that's the one. Look at that. But you only do that with automatic rifles. Okay, apparently I just have a rifle. Because it would pop up. Ah, it's all good. So what are you guys up to this week? Do, 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 do. Any new games coming out you're thinking of getting? Perfect. Alright, we got them down. Weekend was good. Yeah, did you let off any fireworks? So I don't think we'll hear anything about a new Witcher game this week, but we'll hear no, more about the show. Maybe we'll hear about the next-gen upgrade. They haven't really said too much. 
Besides that it's coming out later this year. Okay, we still have two of the superb loot to get. I don't think we can use the goo glider in here. Whoa, did you see that? I think if we go into the water, yeah, you immediately get biohazard poison. Okay, cool. Well, if you wanted to offset that, you could use the biohazard suit, but I don't need it right now. I love the way when you sprint, he runs around all fours. We may need it here, though. That just brought us out there. That wasn't much good. Looking for loot, damn it. I wonder... Is it this way? Yes. This new? Is this where we just fought? Nope. Oh, you nasty bastard. Come here. Okay, we got to use a lot of this. You just hold it down. Oh, you do. And then it chains the lightning. That's cool. So when they have that, the white counter above their head, it's just like Batman or, you know, a lot of other games that use the counter system in combat. Uh, you can really go off on this one, which is cool. Let's try the unstoppable duck. Boom! So yeah, you get used to the, the the parry system. The counter system. Oh, it's time for a little Super Wong Fu! This thing's pretty OP. Dude, I just flew across the whole map. Most time they'll drop like little pieces of candy and stuff. Oh, piece of candy. Wait, we might have to destroy this thing here. You nasty wall anus! Where's the light coming from? Creepy. Nice. Give me all them goodies. Red is good. Hello, Lacuna. How is it going, man? How was your weekend? I hope you all had a great weekend. Thank you for coming in. We're going to kick some ass today. We're going to uh, play a little bit more of this. I'm looking to get the platinum. And then we're going to do some diamond souls. We're going to be taking on the man eater. Which I've never fought before, but I hear a lot of things. I'm the man eater. So busy, busy day. I think we're pretty close to the end of this. We only have one last word eater. And so we'll probably do that today and then clean up some trophies. Probably be a whole lot of choices and maybe another boss after the last word eater. So I don't think we're we won't be on the last stream of this, but we're close. The trophy the the platinum's yeah, the platinum doesn't seem too tough, so it's worth doing. Usually what I do is if I'm close to the end of a game and I'll see how many trophies they've given me, and if it's, you know, if it's in the single digits, I'm like, oh, Jesus. But if it's, you know, close to half of the trophies, I don't mind going back and cleaning them up. And right now I think we're at like 17 out of 47 or 46. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's, that's fine. That's completely doable. A lot of them uh, seem simple enough anyway. You know, do this five times, do this 20 times. The usual. What are these? Uh oh, someone's pissed. Hello? It's a nice cave you've got there. It'd be a shame if I was to smash the shit out of it. Some of these enemies are true nightmare fuel. Good God. Your neighbor... Your neighbors had some fireworks. Lovely. Seen some cool uh, videos of like people having like a firework standoff across a lake. We did let off too, and the next person let off too. That was kind of cool. I love that it's called the Unstoppable Duck. It's so funny. Unlimited. Lightning! Alright, is someone else shooting over there? No, we're good. So I think with these guys we found out. Maybe. I, yeah. The Jumpul cave is neither hot nor cold. Okay. We found out that a certain one of our. Our mounts can pull these with a grapple. It's pretty cool. There we go. Pull off. Walls pulled with the Majut. Uh, let's get out of the shower. Perfect time for stream. Ah, oh, very cool. Nice. My hair takes a long time to dry. What kind of noise are these making? I don't know if I have to defeat the enemy with the spark. Doesn't seem too expensive to use either. Whereas the, the purple zap magic spell, I was not really digging on that. 
What's up? What? Oh, because I had no stamina. Damn, that was stupid of me. Good God. I had no stamina. Because I'd used it all on magic. So as soon as I touched a puddle of water, he fucking died on me. It's always the bloody way. There are masks you can get in the game, but they don't seem... They don't do anything when it comes to, like, helping with oxygen or anything like that. There's even a H2O tank. It doesn't do anything either. Which is a bit weird to me. Because you have to use the outfit, apparently. But why ha why call it a H2O tank? It doesn't do that. H2O! Come on, you bastards. Yeah, that takes like half their health away. We are so powerful! Whoop all the ass. He's playing some Minecraft. Nice, you getting into Minecraft too? What are you up to in your Minecraft world? Just a lonely boy living in a Minecraft world. Nice. Usually it's a good hour to drink. Mm. Yeah, it is so freaking warm. You said I was supposed to. What the fuck? I just spawned it a minute ago. There he is. I don't know what the hell. Maybe they thought I picked something else, which is entirely possible. Yeah, because I, I am I've got an itch. I wanna play uh Witcher 3 again. It's been a long time. If I can play it on the new console, we'll see what they do for like uh, upgrades and that. There's been a lot of bullshit going on in the community right now uh, about like uh, game up upgrades and all that. I agree, it's kind of stupid what's going on. Where Ghost of Tsushima wants you to pay this and that. Kind of make up your mind kind of deal for me. I'd Sony for you, they're going to nickel and dime you like Nintendo do. Maybe it's a Japanese thing, who knows? No, all companies will do it, EA does it, they all do it. Then again, most of those did give away their next gen upgrades for free. The thing is, I don't mind the, the part most people are pissed about. Is, you know, you gotta, you're gonna have to pay for the new expansion, is what it is. It's, that's the way it goes, like DLC. They're just pissed about the, they call it the $10 for PS5 stuff. But that that was always the the PS5 uh, hidden charge. All the next gen games are like that. Xbox kind of getting away with it because it's all going on the Game Pass and no one cares. Oh god, not these weird oil oil tentacle things, dude. That's fucking insane. Oh, the power. Let's see, can we get these with the uh, electricity? All right, dude. Clearly you want some attention. Come here, you little shite. You want attention? I'll give you attention. So with the big guys, you can't really uh, do much, but you can stun them like that. You see, and then they just sit there until they're dead. Easy peasy. The bosses have been pretty cool. A lot of those are just... Can we get them? I don't think you can. Look, I'm trying. I don't think so. Is he locked on? No, these are like weird oil tentacles. Best off just to shoot them. Boom! This new skill I've got, if I reload at the right time, I'll get like extra damage on my bullets, which I like. It's like active reload from Gears of War. I'll take it! Oh, just digging. Digging. You, soon you will get to China. I watched um, the Tomorrow War at the weekend. I thought it was pretty okay, you know? Definitely can see why it was never meant to go to like proper cinema. But if the rumor is true and Amazon bought it for $200 million, they fucked up. Like, it's it's a good, solid movie where you just switch off your brain for a bit. As Chris Pratt in it, uh, Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. And Yvonne Strabonowski, who was in Chuck. It's okay, you know. It's a time travel movie. And they always... Time travel movies best just... Yeah. If you people are writing scripts for time travel shit, just stop. Just think of anything else. Go for it. Because they always fall into the usual suspects, uh, like loophole, giant loopholes and things like that. But it was cool. You know, I mean, it's Tomorrow War, so you know they're fighting against something. It's not like a spoiler. 
But I think they good, I did a good job with uh, the aliens. Like, um, I was just talking about how I just got finished watching Godzilla King of the Monster just popped up on Amazon. I said, fuck it. And, yeah, it was, it was very good. But it still took 40 fucking minutes for Godzilla to pop up. And it was the second movie in the series. That kind of stuff is just unacceptable. It's, it's the same with Transformers. It's just so stupid. I don't give a fuck if Millie Bobby Brownie Jr. or whatever the fuck her name is. I don't care. They think just because they got her from Stranger Things. Just give her all the fucking airtime. Then you got your one from The Conjuring in it. She was like a mother. So boring. Just a boring little family story. Boring. I just wanted to fight, see the big monsters fighting. And then when, when, once the monsters got on screen and started fighting, it was fucking awesome. It's exactly what we needed. So cool. Some great moves. Some classic moves from Godzilla. Yeah, I don't want to spoil who's in it, but it was, it was pretty cool. I want to watch uh, Kong vs. Versus Godzilla now. Godzilla vs. Kong, whatever it's called. That'd be cool. But yeah, Tomorrow War. You know, if you've nothing else to watch, I suppose it's worth to watch. I'm always very picky when it comes to those kind of movies. And I'm more picky how they handle like aliens or monsters. Because that's the selling point for these movies, right? I mean, we can all say that. So if you're going to tease us and not show us what we came here for, you'd, you'd almost want a refund. Because we're not going to take it. Uh, the combat's just so satisfying in this. We're at, we're at this point where you just feel immensely powerful. You're doing so much magic. Oh, now we're outside. I can show you my new movie. Look at this thing. Hey, right, watch this. It's like the ion cannon. Boom! Juicy sends them all flying. I wouldn't say it does that much damage, but it will stun the majority of stuff. Fucking awesome. No slowdown or anything with it. It's like the ion cannon. Alright. These guys really want to die. Tom, you just went flying. Alright, it's just me and you now with your little your little duck mask, huh? We had the duck face, now we have the dust mask. Now we have... And then we also have... What was this one? Right, we gotta wait for my stuff to charge up a little bit. Oh, that's the flames. We have telekinesis as well. Pick up a rock or a little enemy and just throw it at him. Really fun. And the movie's supposed to be good on Reddit. Yeah. The Tomorrow War. Yeah, it's kind of random for him to be in it. Chris Pratt, he must have uh, be paid a, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. But yeah, it, it kind of had the vibe of, you know, any old sci-fi summer blockbuster like from Tom Cruise or whatever, you know. You don't really need to use your brain a lot, just it's a bit of fun. There's some very unusual uh, audio mixing though. Like there was, it was like 20 minutes into uh, the movie, and shit was going down, and they just blasted this tense music. I don't know if, it, like, fair enough, it was like probably early in the morning. I was watching like two or three in the morning, but oh my fucking god, my ears, my freaking ears. Let's head down here. So it's a bit weird. All right, so we got radiation. I under okay, nice. So we're already getting some trophies. We're going down manhole but hole, hole covers. Um, yeah. So we we got some. What does it say? Radiation or biohazard? Yeah, radioactive. So you want to go in there, and if you have it, make sure you got all the suits. That'd be something I would say to do, pretty, pretty quick. I have set them all up under outfits, but you need to go out into the world and find them. So that'll does that help? No. Because I use biohazard instead of radioactive. Even though I said it twice. There you go. So now we're good to go. Can chill down in this beautiful purple world. So yeah, it was, it was worth... I, I think like Amazon definitely... They're the type of thing where they only have about three months of good content. And it's sprinkled out across the whole year. So it's... Like, yeah. Especially if you don't get into their shows, you know. I think The Boys is one of the most successful stuff they've had in a while. Whereas Netflix, they've definitely in the last couple of years, maybe one or two years, they've got to this point where they don't just rely on their big shows. It's now just nonstop. You still get a couple of slower months. Most of the time, I don't get to watch everything, honestly. You know? Hell yeah. 
What else did I do earlier? God damn, I feel so powerful. Woo! So I thought these guys had like this crazy move with their hands. Obviously not. There you go. Cursed beaver. How the hell did I do that? I won't do it again. Tsunami thrust. It's really cool. Godzilla movies have this weird humor. I know. Same with Star Wars. It's just the thing they have to do. But here's the thing. If they just stop doing that, they could save a lot of money. Because a lot of these actors need 20 plus million dollars, you know? Um, but then people were like, oh, it's boring. It's just CGI monsters fighting each other. It's like, what did you expect? I suppose for, for those. But see, the gods, even the old school Godzilla movies and Transformers cartoons had human stories in them. But I, when it came to the Transformers cartoons, it was like, you know, once he went inside, you never really had to deal with him. And then with Godzilla, the old ones back in the day, they were always trying to have this uh, scientist story, you know. But it didn't take off 40 minutes of, a, of the movie. For God's sake. Anyway. No, I, I really do feel as if they did that just to appeal. Because they had spent some money getting Millie Bobby Brownie. Oh, this one looks a little bit more confusing. Is that not good? There you go. Alright, just point the lights in the general direction. I mean... The hu human stories can work. It's just when it's nothing got to do with the humans, you you've got to get the balance right. Like even in 2014's Godzilla, the, when they rebooted it, uh, they brought Brian Cranston in, you know, from Breaking Bad, Mark him in the middle, and loads of stuff. That's a, a high quality actor. Um, I think I think they got the balance sort of right. You know, it's still tried to make it like a a family thing, because most. When Godzilla started off, you know, it was like the 40s and 50s. He was a bad guy, you know. He was he was always he was terrorizing Japan. It was always the way. I'm missing a treasure chest down here. Where are you? Woo! That was kind of cool. I didn't mean to do that. So he was kind of like that in the 2014 one. Uh, it's probably in here somewhere, is it? Am I blind? And then just kind of try and make them his friend. If you're going to do it, I think the best way, if you're going to have these actors in here and all that, it's best to have one or two maximum, you know? So that you can connect with their story, not get confused, and not detract from Godzilla. Wait, why are you going over there, you mad horse? They're all here. Ooh, are they all fighting each other? Yeah, yeah. They've all been poisoned by and transformed. That's why it's bio mutants. Yeah. As an evil series, problem allowed. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of games do that. Most of the time, I get that and it's whatever. This just seemed very out of place, though. Wasn't even meant to be. It was meant to be a, like a sneaky pack. Just somebody fucked up the audio balance for it. It happened. Get him. But yeah, have you played the new Resident Evil? Oh, all gone. Oh, nice. Yeah, no movies need good plots. Exactly. Horror slasher. Yeah. And we all know they're just great summer popcorn movies. Saw, the Saw movies became that as well. That's why they got so many. It was clear that people were just there for the gross traps, you know. No one give a fuck about this detective or that detective. That's so stupid. Oh yeah, of course. Of course. I got a fucking phone call now. You're not gonna make it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Netflix goes in phases of it. It's, everything is trash. Yeah. I think what happens is you'll get those moments where it's like nothing good to watch. But we have our... Um, Wish list just completely stacked to the tits. It's never really anything good. When you dig, you gotta get the superb stuff and get it. Alright, cool. I think we're finished there. Oh, okay. What's this one? The Ring Dingers. Okay, well, they're like telephones. They have, they've made up these cutesy little names for everything because it looks like once 
the humans all died off they probably find just parts of dictionaries or libraries or whatever was left they just made up their own little language of it's kind of cute all right we can just pop out this way Woo. always feels cool when he does that we got everything we're gonna have characters big monster movies and mean have them mean yeah exactly yeah but yeah so far the 2014 one the human story about family now this kingdom monsters about family so we get we get it already we get it but there has always been like a scientist story and that's what they kind of tried to do it was an interesting idea but there's just by the time the movie ended they had this crazy stealth bomber ship it was full of 10 characters that they had introduced throughout the movie and i couldn't tell you a single one of their names just this actor and that actor and it wasn't even bad acting, it was just a convoluted plot. Just con I was like, get back to fucking Godzilla, please. Thank you. Everybody else. I wonder, can we... I think once you figure this out, you get to hear a little, a little phone call. Uh, it's hard to tell which one I'm moving. Okay, perfect. Oh, they need you to go up, is it? Damn, it's still enough. I like that the phone is always off the hook. Hello? Next message. Oh, someone picked up. Probably robots in charge or something. Yeah, I feel, I feel that. Maybe we... Um... Yeah, I think the same issue happened with Kong Skull, Skull Island as well. It's like they, they get one big name actor or actress. You know, they get a lot of them, but it's like to get one big, big one. And they're like, we need to build a story around them. It's it's weird. It kind of reminds me of what um, the Dark Pictures are doing. It's like, here's our one celebrity for this game. They have to have something. They have to do something. Well, at least that game, does, you know, it's about the characters, I suppose. And at this point, you'd nearly rather, like... Then bring in Godzilla's family and have a story around them just so we could see some more monsters rather than Millie Bobby Brownie running around. She was actually, after everything, she was actually underused. She obviously, she's, you know, paid a lot and big name after Stranger Things. So she's completely underused. She was just daughter number two kind of thing. She's, I thought she was going to have like a connection to Godzilla or something because they've done that before. Even, you know, it's kind of like Transformers as well. Where they try and have this whole connection. I think uh, Kong did, did that as well, right? Wasn't there some little girl who was, connect was connected to Kong? They've always done that as well. Like King Kong was always known to have it. For some reason, it was always usually a, a blonde-haired one. You know, that's going back to, the, you know, Jesus. At this point, it's 70, 80 years, maybe. Where he takes her onto the Empire State Building. But like you said it yourself, like it, make it meaningful, right? Because Peter Jackson's Kong, I still think, holds up. Like there's uh, so much um, needlessness stuff in it. But I just love the premise. Thought it was really cool. There's a lot of random bits. Like, just bits on the island that we didn't need. Um, the T-Rex fighting was amazing. Perfect. But all the ins giant insects and that nonsense. Um, and then... Was bits where she was like trying to entertain Kong by dancing and stuff. Really stupid. It's really empty. Kind of cringy just watching someone dance in front of a CGI thing. Anyway, but other stuff was great. Like I thought the moments in the boat was great. Uh, I think Adrian Brody did a good job as like uh, the usual pissed off, failing writer. Even Jack Black did a good job. But yeah, I, I enjoyed that. Andy Serkis obviously killed it as Kong. And when they finally came back to New York, I think it was... It was done so, I think it was done really well. I think it was... It might have been that movie that got him Lord of the Rings. I can't remember which came first. No, I think it was... I think Lord of the Rings came first. But, yeah, the, he nailed it. It's a very long movie, though. Like, it's... Good God. Good God. People... A lot of people only remember... Uh, Peter Jackson's Kong from the video game that launched with Xbox 360. They forget it was a movie. It's kind of sad. 
But in terms of living up to like the classics and having it set during that time period, the 20s and 30s and 40s, that was pretty cool. Yeah, mini Bobby Brownie, exactly. Exactly, that'd be so funny. Alright, we'll just change nothing, just make it huge. But yeah, I'm excited for the new Stranger Things, we'll see how that goes. Oh, I can't get in there, I do need to upgrade the crowbar. Could be cool, I think they should do like maybe one or two more seasons, just leave it. I don't want to see Stranger Things going into like six, seven, eight series, It'd just be foolishness. They'd milk it. It was already kind of slipping for a bit there, but season three was very good. That was an, that's another show that, fucking hell, what was with this bird? Whatever, whatever. Uh, it was one of those shows that you could tell they were trying to tease things and you tease things for too long. So with season two, I think it was actually a bit of a weaker season. And I, um, but season three came back with a bang, it was very good. And they're like, okay, we're, we're going to stop just, you know, teasing this psychological thing from the, from the you know, the whatever it's called, the other world, the upside down, there we go. In a minute, big monkey needs tiny dancing woman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was just always the way, you know. It's always the way, but it was kind of funny because you know, if you think about what we've taught chimpanzees between like sign language and all that, and they do enjoy magic. You ever see that video where you, yeah, they like magic, so they had they're they're smart, they're fucking smart, but no, I, I, in all honesty, you know, that that was the perfect way to do that. We don't, we don't need it done again and again. It's almost like the Superman complex, where they can't tell a Superman story anymore without doing an origin over and over. And Batman's the same. It's like, just do it! You honestly think that nobody knows how Batman, like, how many times does Batman's parents have to die? Superman has to fucking come down again, you know? If it's done right once, and not that much time has passed, like, you know, less than 20 years, I don't think you need to keep doing it over and over again. Alright, so this one, this will lead us to the oxygen. Uh, you can use the vibration on your controller to help out as well. Pretty tough actually, but I just tend to find the, the speed of the pulse helps a good bit. That should probably get in. There you go. Nailed it. Didn't like the latest season. I think the second season was enough. Okay, cool. See, there you go. Pretty mixed on it. The problem I have with the second season is they kept teasing, you know, that big shadowy creature from the upside down. They kept teasing it. And it... For me, it just felt like it was just this big bookie man that was annoying Will, you know? And the only real monster they fought was that tiny little thing. And in the end, then, she just closes this giant vagina in the wall. And I was like, okay, that that's kind of... But then, when season three came along, you know, it felt like the 80s. You've got the whole mall going on. Obviously, it's super cliche. But the whole show is cliche because it's based on 80s and a number of Stephen King and 80s horror movies. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm fine with that. Um, I mean, the whole superpower thing has been going on since Firestarter in the 70s. One of Drew Barrymore's first ever movies where she could produce fire with her hands. But, um, yeah, so when they, when they finally got to season three, they were, like, killing people. They fucking murdered that one dude. There's, like, giant... Mon the monster comes and, like... Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we'll see how they'll deal... Ooh, we found another biome, did we? Discover all seven environment biomes. Cool. See? See what's happening? We are popping trophies like crazy. All right, for this one, we're going to have to change over to the heat suit. Uh, luckily, I've got a nice bunch of these already. But, yeah, it's a, it's not that tough to get any of them. Just do that same ping thing I just did there. Simple enough. Go to the ping station. They usually pop them all on the map for you anyway once you find one. Um, but yeah, they do have them. The only issue with is they're usually way out in the territories where you can't fast travel. So it's the only issue. Uh, Superman's too much to overpower. Yeah, yeah. Like Superman will always run into the issue, especially if he's in another movie with other superheroes where they have to, um, you know, 100% like just neuter him. You gotta neuter him. Like even I grew up watching, well not grew up, but I uh, watched Smallville in my during my teenage years. And yeah, like nearly every season finale or, you know, season premiere, they would have to neuter him. You know, like they're like, oh, there's solar flares. So your powers are 100 times stronger than normal and you have no control over them. That was kind of cool. And then there was a solar eclipse uh, where he had no powers. He was human for a day and all this kind. So, yeah, they always have. And that's something that definitely the comic books did a lot, too. 
But you're dead right. He's, he's just one of those uber powerful characters. But something. That's why Kryptonite was invented. I'm not even a f hidden these. Oh, wow. So yeah, that's why Kryptonite was invented for sure. He's too strong. No, it seems to be a lot of love in the community for like Flash and Gotham and all that. Pretty cool. I know Dynamite's a fan of those. I've watched neither of them. I watched a bit of Green Arrow. Hello, are you friendly? I wasn't, as much as I know the comic books deal with it so much, I feel like crossover events and parallel universe events, they don't work, for me, they don't work as well in TV shows. I don't know why that is. I feel like it maybe because the comic, most comic books are like 20 pages long, and it's pretty cool. And it's like bite size, but when you have to sit down for a whole season of this stuff, it's, it's, yeah. It's the same paradox as time travel and heaven and hell. You bring either of those things into your show or movie and it gets so confusing. Like Supernatural had that same issue. There's another show that was kind of parallel to Smallville. It's a great, great show. Um, but once they start dealing with heaven and hell and all that and Satan's daughter and all this, it, was, it just got really, got really stupid. Whereas, you know, if you go back and watch the first couple of seasons, you're like, holy shit, this show was perfect. I don't know, they're, they're great shows. You're always going to have a bad season. Smallville, season 6 was a, a, an abomination. It should never be spoke from again. It was the stupidest thing ever. It was like Superman, Days of Our Lives. Is she pregnant? You're not the father. Da, da, da. It was so stupid. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So it was a waste of time. And then with season 7, they brought Supergirl into it. She was good, but it felt like a band-aid on, on a show that was sinking. And season 8 was was uh, Doomsday. Season 9 was Zod and the Kryptonians. And season 10 was all about him finally becoming Superman. And that was the end of the show. But season 5 was the best. Super sad. 100 episodes. Pretty cool. It's a good show. I, it's, but, you know, like at that point... You know, early 2000s, mid 2000s, it was very family friendly. A lot of CW shows were like that, sadly. So it was one of those things you just kind of had to. It was one of those, you know, tough pills to swallow. Once you got past that, though, it was a bit of fun. But it, yeah, like most of those shows back then, what they would do is, because it was back when shows were a weekly thing, they would just call them like, what's the freak of the week kind of thing? So you'd have a bad guy for each week. That's, but I think Smallville really worked that well that way because it felt like a comic book. It wasn't a, a whole season long thing, you know. It was the freak of the week. This guy's into bugs. This is this. You know, that kind of went. It's kind of cool. I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was all tied up in a nice little bow at the end of the of the episode. I think um, Supernatural did the same too. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Pretty sure they said season four would be there. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. I think that's a good idea. Like, I think it's a great show, and they probably could get more seasons of it. But, yeah, I'm telling you. At this point, like, they're going to have to... They have to clear up a kind of a mess they left the season three in. So the show's going to have to start in some way in Russia. It's like, what the fuck? Look at all these crazy masks. Like, everything with the characters and stuff. The monsters and reason. Yeah, I think they got so fixated with Will as well in Stranger Things. I was like... It's clear that Eleven was always going to be the center point. And it's okay to have story around all of them. But yeah, Will just felt like an afterthought. What happened was he had kind of um, fulfilled his purpose in the first season. And they just did not know what to do with him. Have you played the Stranger Things game? It's pretty good. It's all like pixel art. It follows the, the whole season. So like if you've seen the season. But it's actually pretty good. Multiple characters. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Especially if you can get it. I end up getting it at full price or something. Like, nah, it might have been like 40 or something. And they realized that's not what they wanted to put it as. And they uh, ended up giving me a refund. Which had never happened before. Ever. It's just like PlayStation just sent me an email. And said, like, we put this into your account. Alright, now we have the... Uh, that's all the suits, I think. Nice. Fortunately, I think you can only have room for five outfits. So, that's the anti-cold one. Uh, most of them I've removed the helmet from. But if I put the helmet back on, you'll you'll see what it looks like. See, most of them just hazmat suits. But you can put armor on them and things like that. 
There's only room for five of them. Shy bud. That's not the hat I was wearing. So over in the corner, I've been trying to use uh, items that basically help with critical chance. So every time I attack and you see me, oh, it was this one was it? It was pretty good. Energy regain and health. You see me doing a red attack damage, that's critical. And that, usually criticals will happen maybe 1 out of 10, 1 out of 20 times. But the way I've set it up, it's, it's you know, one, it's like 50% chance of working or something like that. All right, cool. So now we have all the suits. The suits. Um, what I should do is look around for a fast travel if I ever need to go back up here, which is usually a little yellow flag, but they're, they're closer. Let's go towards this balloon. Hmm. Uh, I'd love to see Marvel or some DC alternate reality movies like in the comics. Yeah, hell yeah, Joker bat. Yes, 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 yes. You should watch. Um, don't know if you have already, but there's um, uh, what's it called? Sa Batman Ninja or Ninja Batman? It's got a name like that, but it's basically like anime Batman Samurai. Oh, it's so it's on Netflix. So good, it's so good. Like it has no business being as good as it is. It's really well done. I see there's a new anime uh, Star Wars coming. It's called Star Wars Visions. That looks fucking cool too, finally. Because if there's something that's going to take your franchise and elevate it beyond like what it's kind of stuck in, the same old, same old, it's anime. And already I can see some people wielding, there was one enemy wielding uh, dual red sabers, but they were like, they were sword sabers, you know? Fucking cool as hell. The whole lightsaber thing does get a bit ridiculous. And I think um, Kylo Ren's really did just push it into the stupidity. Because that thing would just cut your own hand off. You know? So stupid. There were so much better ways of doing that. If they just made it into those into sword hilts, it might have been cooler. But there's been sword blades before. This little village usually would have... There it is. I'm going to get these yellow flags. This is a fast travel so that we can just come back here. Because we probably will need to come back here eventually. Boop. Yeah, we already uh, got two new trophies so far and I didn't even try. So, there you go. Nice. How long have we been going for? All right, cool. So we do another about about an hour of this. Two and two will be perfect. We'll be starting off. I don't. I've never fought the man eater in Demon Souls, or been to that area, the Tower of Latria or whatever. But we should be doing good. Nice. That's way out. So look, we don't have a single fast travel all over here. But that's obviously one of the last biomes. That's why we got that. It's cleverly done. You know, a little bit scripted where each biome has its own little thing going on. But I kind of like that, actually, you know? I mean, even Breath of the Wild does it. Most games have just biomes split up like that. It's all about how you transition, you know? just Don't just make plop desert area, plop snow area. If you make the transition look cool, then it works really well. That's why it worked in, like, Red Dead Redemption and Ghost of Tsushima. You were genuinely moving into the mountains, you know? And then it would get snowy, which I really fucking love. I love so it looks like we're going to be uh, still a few years off, um, unfortunately, uh, with GTA 6. But this gives them enough time. Will we get a bully too? Will we get this Red Dead Redemption remake I've been hearing about for a long while? Who knows? Because they're obviously not just going to work on nothing. Who the feck knows? I think I think they really should. Like, um, I don't know. I don't know why they've slowed down so much besides the common answer, which is GTA Online. But I don't think that's going to take over a whole lot of studio. Yeah. Okay, I think I need to go back and talk to this guy, and this will force the next world leader, which is uh, probably this guy over here. So did I see something? There he is. He's like a little turtle. I like turtles. That's probably him right there. So we'd be up in this area somewhere. So underneath this tree, they've found an ark. This will get everybody off the planet, so which is fucking mad. It's always about getting people. There's so many arcs. I I I enjoy a good disaster movie, you know, like the day after tomorrow in 2012. I've watched a lot of the newer ones, and they're so poor. I think the the weird success and memification of Sharknado has taught has has made all these like disaster movies thinks that they can you know earn a lot of money. Like people watch Sharknado because it's the stupidest shit ever, but you know not because. It's good, but unfortunately, being, you know, stupid kind of movies make money too. Like, look, remember all those, like, a superhero movie, disaster movie, all these really bad movies that came 
after like scary movie did well epic movie oh jeez so bad so bad yeah it all circles yeah because russians i know i know that's that's but see here's the thing that was always the trope in the 80s so that's what they're going with but i just don't think it's going to sit as well with people because uh, people from russia actually fucking hate all that stuff even like new generations old generations it's stuff that was left over from the rivalry between america and russia during like the cold war and all that kind of stuff going back that far you know it'll always be that just this this kind of blanket uh, rivalry and just yeah so, yeah, it, they were always the bad guy in hundreds of movies, especially, like, action movies where it's, like, American star beats down the Russians and all that, you know. Fuck's sake. So, yeah, we'll see. They're using that. Hopefully, what they'll do is they won't make it a big thing across the whole of uh, Season 4 of Stranger Things because it's going to really just grate on you after a while. That would be cool. Who would win several Pew Pew Boys or one long glow stick? Good question. Good question. All right, talk to me, my little. He's like he looks kind of like a beaver. Time has come to end the conflict between the tribes. There won't be any winners in this war. You know it's not too late to change direction by visiting another tribe's fort. So you can change your morality system if you want, light and dark and all that. Okay. Nice. So that's, obviously there's like three or four big main quests, one of them being fight all the tribes and then kill the war leaders. I want to change back to my outfit. Because damn, I tell you one thing, you actually notice the armor difference. Get my ass handed to me. Alright, will he let me go after the war leader now? Oh, the heat, the heat now. Tree of life. Here we go. Oh yeah, this is the Ark. So we have to pick eight people to go on the Ark. You pick whoever you want. I don't know. I'm not too fussed. We're looking for the Northwestern World Eater. Area objectives. The below above, what does that mean? So you can see some of the, this is the area we've taken over so far. But you can do all of this. I'm thinking he wants... I have to do exactly what he says, don't I? Isn't that it? He wants me to end the tribe wars before we can push it forward. Let's just double check. Yeah. Alright, buddy. It's fine by me. There's a lot of trophies connected to all that stuff. We'll keep keep them going. Yeah, I think so far. I think the one I missed was one of the world bosses where you have to feed them enemies to kind of uh, stun them. I did a couple of them, but clearly I didn't do enough. I didn't do enough. All right. So what's this here? Okay, we've done that part. I think we need to go over here. Capture the rival outposts. Track the quest. Place the waypoint. And we will grab this fast travel. Alright, oh, nice. Whew. Yeah, Star Wars is a funny one. They've, they've now, I think, at this point, they're trying to take a, a break. Move past the Skywalker saga. Which kind of ended in a wet fart. Which was to be expected when uh, th that trilogy started with a wet fart. But I'm excited for where it's going, you know, I think uh, this may be the moment where, where the movies fail a little bit. The games are going to start getting just better and better. Let's see, is there a road that way we could go along the beach? Beach! What up, beach? Yeah, we could get like a sequel to Jedi Fallen Order. And get the, a couple of open world ones. And then I, they're probably Bioware, someone like that. I meant to be doing a, a Knights of the Old Republic remake. And then with the High Republic being the new... Oh, Jesus. The future of Star Wars. We'll probably get a, a couple of games around that too. Which is going to be set like uh, hundreds, hundreds of years before. Even thousands of years before the Skywalker saga. So that'll be a nice... I think it's a good idea. 
time to, time to do something completely new. As much as we love Vader and all that, it's time. He's been milked so dry. Have you seen him without his mask on? That is a man who has been milked dry. We gotta let him rest. Be nice to go back to like the glory days of the Jedi and when the Sith was born. Because it's always been a, a beautiful world, right? Imagine you could mix something like No Man's Sky, that, that kind of freedom, but have it in the Star Wars universe. Oh, bitch! Still maintain the combat of like Jedi Fallen Order. I don't know. Be cool. That's what I kind of want from the next Mass Effect. They really need to. They all. Like, as much as I know, we're kind of sick of open world or open galaxy and all that, but. There's a lot of games that have teetered on the edge of doing that without ever doing it. Mass Effect never truly let you control the Normandy. I felt like a, a tease. You do it on the tiny little galaxy map, which was shite. Here we go. I actually, this may be my favorite uh, biome in the game. It's so nice. It's like Colorado. Colorado Springs are pissing on the flag. So that was never something I got into. I played the games, but never seen the movies. That's pretty cool. That's all good. There's a lot of people like that who just genuinely are not a fan of it. You know, there's no like disdain or anything. It's just whatever. A lot of that comes from uh, just having a huge fan base. A lot, of, a lot of gatekeeping that goes on in all fan bases. Then with Star Wars especially, you've got three generations, you know, if not more, where uh, each generation shits on each other, you know, so they're toxic within their own community. So you've got like the old school fans who watched the movies, you know, in the late 70s and 80s, who are now wicked old and hate the new stuff. And shits on all the kids and, and Disney and all that. And then you've got kids, a lot of them have grown up, you know, and the, now they're in their 20s. They grew, they grew up with Phantom Menace. And they're huge fans of those. And I don't know. It's the same thing is happening with the new movies now. It's a weird. It's like a it's like a loyalty thing as well. Alright, we're going to get, get in here. These are always fun. Let's go. So you can choose to take over these tribes on the dark side, good side. You can kill everybody and let the tribes just implode into themselves. Or you can join them together to try and help the world if you want that kind of stuff. All right, arc shooter. Okay, cool. I'll help your little catapult. Is it all the way over here? These guys have got like battering rams and everything. Hallelujah. I gotta get up there. This might be a little cheeky way around. Hold on. Hold down. Aliyup. Nice. Nailed it. Can you climb up there? No ledge grabbing for you. Oh, they wanted me to do this. I knew that. What are you up to? Are you the guys who are breaking these axe shooters? These guys are funny. This is part of their tribe. But they look like, um, they look like Buck Rogers. Or those, uh, football stars. I was hoping I knocked some of them off. Unlimited power! The noise they're making, they sound like a raccoon who's hit the, uh, the fly swatter. The new stuff is wild. They'll nitpick the sli- Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You'll notice that most of them are like the old school fans. The kids are just happy to be running around being part of us. But when you have a, a fandom that's long it, that happens it happens with anything and you're trying to appeal to such a mass audience I notice if I do this he'll slide along it Whee! I don't know why he does that just can't go people don't just want to enjoy things anymore they want to critique it shit on it everybody wants to see the world burn video games Oh, it's, there's so much of that going on. Whoa! Guy okay, must have went through the wall. 
Nice. Boom! It's getting progressively harder. This one here about the bandits, I don't know what that's all about. Pick over six tribe outposts. Okay, we're working on that one. Nice. This arc shooter. Oh, you got up here too? Where you going, you silly belly? Okay, he's over there, but anyway. Boom! Yeah, there's one for, I don't know if, oh. I don't know if it's killed them or hit them with the key spark, which is the lightning attack I have. I gotta figure that one out too. Boop. They sound like my high, yeah, they do, right? No. <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, monkey wiener, I need to play Fall Guys again. Where is that, let's see. Let's go for it. Yeah, well, I don't want this is a twinkle crash light. I don't know what the hell that is. Drown, yeah, how the hell do you do that in oil during combat? Hmm, I'll have to find somewhere. So I didn't know it bounced them, okay. Electrify, there we go. Defeat 20 enemies. See, that's gonna be tough. So, what I'll have to do is get their health down as uh, low as I can, then sort them out. No, that's not what I wanted. Perfect. Yeah, for me, the next big game coming up is uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword on the Switch. that will be fun to play that. There's some good games on the Game Pass this month, too. They just announced the PS Now games as well. Uh, God of War, Red Dead Redemption 2. Some great ones. Like the, This is the thing, right? Sony are putting the money into PS Now. These games are not cheap, you know? But it's like, fuck all promotion. And the... Oh, shit. I didn't want to kill him. Uh, the price, you know, the, the buy-in price. Oh, fucking hell. I just wanted to use the key blast, man. Uh, yeah, the buy-in price is not great either. It's like a tenner a month. No bullshit. I'm not pressing anything. Yeah, that move is so strong. Come on, you little shite. Finish him off with lightning. Grease lightning. Nice. Hopefully that's counting towards them. Who knows? We won't know until the trophy pops. Some some trophies and achievements will track them as you go, which is super, super helpful. But uh, it all depends on will the dev bother to do that. And uh, 9 times out of 10, they don't. It's the newness factor, right? Okay, that's all three guns. I'm guessing this is gonna like pull down the wall or pull the gate open. Maybe just blow it up. Oh damn, they're just blasting them like motor. Cool. And that's all the top. Nice. See, they're all they're all different. There was one where we had to do a massive battering ram. What I'm gonna do now is um, Demon Souls has just got me. Oh dear Lord Jesus, has got me completely addicted again. So I'm just gonna do a Soulsborn marathon. We're gonna go through the whole lot of them. And it'll probably take me a good few months. Which is fine by me. Um, so we'll probably go through them until Elden Ring comes out in January. Boom. We'll do Sekiro and Bloodborne as well. Because I have, I have them all. I, I must have triple bought the whole lot of them. Because I, I played a lot of them on Xbox. It was all I had at the time. Um, and then I moved over to PS4 and now PS5. So, And some of them have unlocked frame rates. So that'll be really tasty. So yeah, we'll do that. After Demon Souls finish, we'll move over and we'll do Dark Souls Remastered, Dark Souls 2, 3, all the DLC. We'll do them. I've done them before, but they're so much fun. They're so much fun. And I'm always waiting on new Souls likes, and we do seem to be having a little bit of a drought right now. Hell yeah. But you know, in between that, if I could I just, you know, keep doing two games at a time. We'll keep that going. Hello. So now it's our outpost. You can talk to everyone. There's little farms and jobs and upgrades and shops. It's all over the place. It's pretty cool. Like there's a lot of systems in this game that you don't at first appreciate because they kind of throw everything at you at once. And the fact that everything's in gibberish. I hate to say that, but you're not. You're just not going to care as much about it when it's in gibberish. 
See, look, there's like forges. It's a whole little life, and you can go up into this that balloon there. Balloon. I'm still waiting to get some more of the uh, cool. You can upgrade your stuff here. Some more cool transports, because there's meant to be a flying mount and the clockwork hand I was talking about. Oops, I didn't mean to talk to you. Bye bye. Okay. More rival outposts. We're gonna do it. I think it's got to do with this. The Netra Fortress. Ooh. What to say? Territory not marked. Maybe I just can't do it yet. I have to clean out all this place first. So once you get the outpost, it becomes your little area. Which kind of reminds me of like, you know, uh, you know, Far Cry or Assassin's Creed where you take over areas. Or even in GTA. So the stuff like that, all the mechs and that I want to get. I don't want to leave the game without them. So they may be related to some side quests. So I'll just track them down to show them off. It'd be a nice little way of showing off. Especially the f oh, flying one. I'd love to be able to fly in this game. I was checking out some new videos for Elix 2, which is a cool little RPG. And uh, there was a jump jet in the first one. But you only had very limited. You could basically come go from... Where I'm standing, may maybe to the top of that rock there, that's about it. But in the in the sequel, they've changed it where there's like a, a jet mode, like a booster mode. And when he switched over to that, it gave me mad like Iron Man vibes. I really think like Anthem could have nailed this Iron Man meets Star Wars game, but they just they just fucked it up. It clearly wasn't ready. EA obviously wanted to turn it into a goddamn games as a service whereas Bioware have never done that before they're used to doing um, single player stories you know it sucked the closest thing they've ever got to like MMO stuff was probably with uh, you know Knights of the Old Republic and the Old Republic ah see look you can pick you can pick up a lot of the little enemies we should be able to shoot these gas tanks as well yep boom baby so you can just pick up this little guy and throw him a mile away Cracks me up. Do a little bit of this as well. Boom! The magic is uber satisfying in this game. Slide under his legs. Whoop that ass. Okay, now I can't not hear it now. It's so funny. What up, Cyber? Hello, props. How's it going? How was your fourth? I hope you had a good fourth of July weekend. These guys kind of look like Furbies. When Furbies fight back. Who had a who had a Furby? Those little shits. I st I bought into the whole like you can teach your Furby to talk. Oh god, what a good catch! That Furby never talked to me. Except, except at night time. Furby. Alright, hey, bitch. It's on now. God, the amount of critical hits I'm doing. Woo. Try and finish him with the key spark. Unlimited lightning! Nice, nice. Uh, what did it say? 20 enemies? Okay. Hopefully. I've only just got the key spark, so. Yeah. We're, we're, we're gonna. I'm gonna try and platinum this one, Props. Props has been playing this one as well. On hard mode, I'm just on normal. Because proper ain't no bitch. I've yet to mess around with the crafting, though. I should. I feel bad. Free healed, 4,500 health, not bad. The Dark Souls 4, yeah. That's a good question. I think, th I don't know. Like, what they're doing now, every one of their games is like a new um, IP. So if a Dark Souls 4 was going to happen, it'd probably be done by the Dark Souls 2 team, you know. Which people did not like, but I did. So it'd be a side team, you know. I think Dar the Dark Souls 2, 2 team went on to do uh, Sekiro. That's what I think, because they, they all started to come out really close together, so they were clearly working in tandem with each other. So while um, the main team worked on Bloodborne, the side team worked on Dark Souls 2, because they knew that Bloodborne was going to take upwards of, you know, 3, 4, 5 years. That's what's kind of happened with Elden Ring. So Demon Souls kept everyone kind of busy, but it's crazy, I mean, that team has not been without putting out a game, you know... It's, they have a crazy track record right now, and I, I know they can keep it going, but it must be unbelievable pressure for them. 
So I hope they're not going to burn out or anything. Yeah, I, I, I would like to see a Bloodborne 2 as well. I think it, it's a pretty perfect game as is. Bet you a little shite. Got him! You didn't do shit! Oh, well, that's, that's nice! That's the way to do it. That is the way to do it. Need a nice relaxing weekend. I'm gonna have to find a way to climb up this cliff here. I should have went around this way. How was I to know? I, I don't find the mounts make you any faster. Watch, now this is me sprinting right now. Not great, not bad. I think there is ways of improving your movement speed. And you call the mount and sprint with the mount. Is that any faster? I don't think so. I think it's placebo effect. I think the, the camera moved out a little bit. That's about it. Mm -mm, I don't think it moved. Alright, gotta find a way to climb up this cliff. Come on. Usually, they'll have a couple of yellow markers. Oh. Alright! I'm not fighting you again. Fuck off! Type of thing Cyber would have his for a Yeah, who knows? Disgusting. Have you seen Dark Souls 3 is thinking of ending things video? Basically goes on about how it's slowly ending the Souls series. Or it seems that way. Yeah. But definitely everything kind of connects back to Dark Souls 1, right? Full circle and all that. So if that was the way it's... Uh, uh, I'm okay with it, you know? Usually a trilogy, you're pretty fine with that, you know? It's hard enough to get a sequel out of them. I don't, there's probably a good chance they didn't even want to do a Dark Souls 2. It was like, it was a, a publisher maybe. But you know, I would have sold so much, I don't know. Nice. Oh, I forgot about this. Shane Lightning. This guy not dead. I think to improve your your mana and your stamina and all that, I think it's endurance you have to level up. Those little green bullets, that's my the cricket. He has a turret on his back. He's helping out. Oh no! See, I'm one-shotting them. Clearly, my melee is doing way more damage. Come on! Don't kill him! I need to kill him with this lightning. Damn it, it keeps disappearing. Maybe I can find something to improve it. There you go. Because I'm not going to get that kill unless uh, I actually kill it with the lightning. Who knows? Trophies and achievements can be weird like that. This has got like a nice Japanese feel to it. I like it. Look at this. It's probably like an ice cream shop or something. Or a, maybe it's like a milk bar or something. It's another thing. It's kind of cute. Have you ever tried any of the uh, Souls-like games that other developers play or make? I know that none of them are as good as the original series, but they're damn fun. I gotta fix. I gotta fix the shitter. The shitter's blocked. Shitter's full. Yeah, automatic turret cricket. I love him. He's such a cool little dude. I think I think he's secretly he's over there. And he hops on your back. He look he works like the flashlight. He does everything. Even the flashlight. What? What did you say? What have we got here? Ooh, a little bar, huh? If you got any cider. Cider in the summer is just perfect. Cider in the summer. Looks like there's some goodies up here. Just when you think you're just climbing up on the roof for nothing. Oh, I gotta find some records. Oh. Yeah. I'll be back. This is a nice little area. Your TV's fucked. What's in here? This is what the record is? Cool. This thing would not work. That was easy. Oh, I just have to do the hard part. I'm gonna line all this up. What the fuck? Oh, 
All right, that did it. Sounded like I was fucking on the decks there. DJ Cooper. Nice. Apparently there's four pieces of superb loot left over. Looks like I can get up here too. Hold on. Boom. Oh. Uh, telling you I can get up there. I believe. Use the shelf. Yeah. Hold on now. Don't give up. The superb loot would shine up gold, so it's gotta be standing out. You know, they might mean this whole little town. Get down off that roof, Billy. You're gonna break your ass. But man. Holy fuck. Has been doing that a good bit the last update, whatever they were messing around with. No, still one out of five for that. But down here, I see something shining gold. A refrigerator! We got some pants. This seems to be like the next good few games are gonna have this whole system as well. Far Cry 6 is buying in heavy into creating your own weapons kind of thing, you know. It's always had it a little bit in terms of upgrades and that. But uh, yeah, Far Cry 6 it really is just make anything out of anything. Which is exactly what Biomutant does. And so, and then we're gonna get Dying Light 2 in December, which I'm super hyped for. And those games, including Dead Island as well, the series before it, they have all been heavy into like, let's just stick a, a fucking battery onto this sword and now you do electrical damage. That's science, bitch! Could be. Not my science. I think we probably will get a Dead Island too, like the hype around Dying Light 2. Holy shit. Now they're doing a lot of AMAs and that. Uh, it's called Dying to Know. Which, yeah. <laughs> whatever whatever you think about that name. Um, but I'm trying to now, after the latest stuff they've done, I'm trying to go a little bit dark on it. I mean, it's it's been confirmed for December. It's going to be an awesome, you know, before Christmas kind of game. Maybe a Christmas present game for any of you guys out there. Um, who you know, you know, when you ask for games for Christmas or whatever. Dying Light really does... It works well in co-op for sure. It's probably my favorite uh, zombie series at the moment. It combines everything from every other series. Adds a little crazy hardcore parkour Spider-Man with zombies. Nice. I'd like to see Dead Rising come back in some fashion. Hopefully. Capcom are on a, a hell hell of a streak right now. So it's up to, to them what they want to bring back. Play through the Surge one. Okay, oh, nice. Ah, that's cool. I'm glad to hear that because I feel like there are, are a select number of people who was like, it's souls or nothing else. Remnant was super fun. I like that. Like, I played a couple of, if you want to call them, shooter souls, as I was calling them. Uh, there was one called Immortal Unchained, and it was just, nope. They, they had some fundamentally broken things. Like, every time you die in that game, it was almost like it was copying itself. So when you load it back in, the performance got steadily, steadily worse. It reminded me of, like, when uh, PCs have, like, memory leak and things like that. It's like, holy fuck. Only, the only way of describing it was, like, it was duplicating itself instead of reloading the checkpoint, you know? So I, I was getting, by the end of it, I had to stop the stream because I was getting about three frames. And this, fair enough, it was on console. Actually, I can't, yeah, it was, yeah, who am I kidding? Um, but yeah, still, Jesus, I should revisit it just to see. But once I played Remnant from the Ashes, there's no going back. I actually played that with people and I just bought the uh, DLC. I need to go back and play it. Super cool, super tough though. I actually found it easier solo because once you start bringing people in, they would just add another zero to the boss's health. So it'd go from like 10,000 to fucking 50,000 or something like that, you know. It's insane. It's too much. 
So if you weren't mass matching that damage output, it's over. Game over. Game over, man. It was super, super solid. That was done by Gunfire Games, who um, worked on Darksiders 3, which is really good. And they're a great developer. They also worked on um, a, a prequel to uh, Remnant. I don't know if you heard of it. It's called Chrono Before the Ashes. And it's a melee souls like. So it's closer to Dark Souls. I hear it's janky, though. But I might pick it up. I saw it for like 15 bucks. I might pick it up. Because I didn't enjoy Remnant so much. So if you wanted to know more about the world of Remnant. Maybe Chronos Before the Ashes might help you. Vampire, yeah. Remnant, I didn't. Okay, cool. That's all good. Maybe you might like Chronos better because it's melee. Vampire was really fun, right? Holy shit. I hope to do a sequel to that. We kind of had this uh, team hospital meets Dark Souls and Vampires. I really enjoy that. So you could be a, you could be a genuine doctor and help all the patients. Or you could, you know, use them like a blood farm and just suck them all dry, which I did. Good times. I like the setting as well. The map was a little confusing, though. Because it being, you know, in, in London, they had to kind of go for that whole idea. Where it's no different if you were in, like, LA or, you know, any of those places where it's just street after street. It had the same vibe of when you first play LA Noir. When you get into a car, it's just block after block after block. Which is exactly what the cities are like. But yeah, I really, I really enjoyed it. I, I actually would love to see them expand that universe. Like, I think Vampire could work, seeing as it's all about, like, um, you know, vampires. And they even mentioned Jack the Ripper and things like that. So they could add in things like Jekyll and Hyde and Frankenstein and, and werewolves and stuff, you know. That's what I said they should do with the Order 1886. But that seems to be long dead, which is super sad because they had potential. One of the most beautiful uh, games uh, of that generation. Uh, just short. They were going after Gears of War, sadly. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know if it was Sony's marketing or whoever's marketing, but they chose these games as, you know, called this game kills on the fucking Halo killer. And then the next game going after Gears of War. You need to stop doing that. Luckily, they've, they've done that. They stopped doing that now. You don't want to be the follower, you know? You want to be the innovator. Don't chase another, another person or another fucking uh, series in this case, you know? Because all you're going to end up is doing just a weaker a weaker job than they did. You can be inspired by something, but you don't want to wanna chase after what they got. You'll never amount to much that way. Yeah, Vampire was quite buggy, I agree. By the time they gave it... Is this when they gave it away for free on the PS Plus? Yeah. Vampire, that one about the four horsemen. Yeah, Darksiders 3. Yeah, that was that. Uh, Rem, the guys who did Remnant and uh, did uh, they did Darksiders 3. But they didn't do the other Darksiders. So Darksiders 1 and 2 are more like God of War, hack and slash. But Darksiders 3, they decided to move over and make it like Dark Souls. Which was not a bad thing. You know, you had to pick up your, your shit when you died. And you had um, a limited heals and things like that. So it was an interesting idea. You know, you can definitely see the success... And where the you know, kind of where the money follows, they wanted to have their own little spin on Dark Souls. It's definitely created a whole new genre. That's the way I see it. Obviously, clearly they're taking things from that series. You know, if you want to call it copy and whatever, but I, I don't see it like that. Me personally, I see the the birth of a new genre. It's kind of how I feel about Metroidvanias. I don't I I I see that as a badge of honor rather than nothing else. You know, it's its own little genre now. Which is kind of cool. You don't see the birth of genres happen very often. Besides Dark Souls and that, we've had uh, uh, Battle Royales. That's about it. That's about it. So it doesn't happen very often. FPSs have been around since the dawn of video games. So that's nothing new. Uh, yeah, what else did you play? That one, but yeah. Uh, yeah, The Surge was cool. Did you play The Surge too? Um, Pyro played that, he said it was very good. Love the way both game stories going on. Oh, so you can't still get Yeah, fuck, I'm sorry about that. That sucks. Who knows? I, I had a an old refurbished PS4 that I got. Because I had started with Xbox One like an idiot in that generation. So I got it. And I had noticed that like people saw it live on air, live on stream. That I will get one crash per game per stream. Maybe more, you know. But it didn't matter how good the game was or how well it was optimized so there was clearly there was an issue with that ps4 
uh, which does not seem to have carried over to the PS5. Thank fuck for that. Because it was getting a little embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. Just having that blue screen. It's like the, it was like the blue screen of death. But it just took you back to the... To the... Um, to the dashboard, right? Yeah. The fan base didn't as much. Yeah, but like, in fairness to the fan base, every single one of the Dark Souls... Or, or the Dark Siders games... Have been like different genres. They have been different genres. So the first one was hack and slash, God of War kind of stuff, you know. Second one was uh, was Legend of Zelda and Diablo inspired. Honest to fuck. So Diablo with the loot, Legend of Zelda with the whole dungeons and stuff. It's my, it's my favorite of the series. So it's clearly been a series that has kind of. Taking a page out of everything. Damn, I didn't get the last hit in there. That sucks. So if you use your magic when you've no stamina, it actually delays the recharge even more. That was nice. You see, each outpost is a little something going on. <sighs> Never picked the second up one, sadly. Yeah, it might be cool. Usually that's when those souls likes do well. They've like they've learned from the last one. Uh, they usually refine them a good bit. Hopefully, maybe you get a cheap. Yeah, or they'll give it away for free. Exactly. And Neo, you what did you think of Neo? I think Neo is probably the closest thing to Dark Souls. It is bollocks hard, but it has all the markings of uh, Team Ninja, you know? They made the, the original tough hack and slash game with Ninja Gaiden. It fucking kicks ass that game. But yeah, Neo Neo's super tough. I really love the stances. I felt like... Uh, hey, here we go. Must be the take over six tribe power outpost. Come. Look at these trophies popping off now. Let's go. Yeah, I felt like Neo. They uh, maybe even Sekiro learned a little bit from Neo with the stances and things like that. It's a good idea. I've not. I've yet to play Neo too. I played uh, the beta for it. Thought it was pretty cool, but oh yeah, Neo is bollocks hard. Holy shit, gets a little grindy at the end, which is usually what DLC will do. Look at any DLC for Dark Souls. The first thing you're going to have to do is grind out a couple of levels. Because it will kick your ass. Kick my ass, man. So uh, with Darksiders, they then moved on and, and switched up the genre yet again. With Darksiders Genesis. Which was a, a top-down game. Co-op twin-stick shooter. Uh, it was definitely an interesting... I, I don't consider it as Darksiders 4. I still think for Dark Siders 4, they're going to want to do something like, uh, I don't know. Uh, they're going to want to be able to let you play as all four of the uh, horsemen. Because that's pretty much what they've been leading up to. But what kind of genre do they want to go for? Are they going to continue how Dark Siders 3 or go back to hack and slash? Or have a mix of all four? The issue with Strife being, uh, you know, he has, twin, he has two guns, you know. So it was always going to be tough try and fit that in but we've had hack and slash games with you know big ass swords and things and then switch over the guns it, it works it works we'll see what they do i just want them to bring the open world aspect back because that's how i feel like dark side it was the only thing that really knocked dark side is tree for me because it had an interconnected world uh they really went after the, you know dark souls with the interconnected world which was pretty cool it meant you could fight the bosses in any order or even miss a couple but it also led to a completely stupid cutscene at the start of the game, where basically not allowing you to have your uh, your horse. Uh, that's all I'll say about that. And after it being in the promotional um, uh, videos, it's so stupid. And it's a beautiful horse too. It's one of my favorite aspects of Darksiders 2. Not only you know death being a badass, but it's that horse. That fucking horse is amazing. Spawning in that horse, this skeletal, that kind of. That evil, like, green fire. Oh, my God. It was so cool. And it wasn't a completely open world, but I think that's what they should have went for. That uh, Darksiders 2, I think, nailed the whole premise. Because it allowed for some awesome big boss fights, too. So, yeah. that If I if I was them and I was going for Darksiders uh, 4, I would return to that style. I even like the Diablo loot system. But what I mean by that is just straight up a color-coordinated upgrading and, and, and loot system. It... You know, it's something as just simple as that. Most games do adopt that now. And it just, it's very addictive. You know, you're always going to want that better color. You're going from gray to green to blue to purple to gold, you know. That's how every, like, Battle Royale ever is doing things now. 
And it was kind of really Diablo that started that off. What are you little guys? Come here, you little shites. Keep creature. Oh. So catching these little guys is a great way of topping up your morality. So you can kill them or pet them. You know, obviously evil, good versus evil, all that good stuff. It was way too hard. Yeah, it's bollocks. Hard. I have to say so. But that I, I, I fucking knew they were going to do that. Because of, um, you know, being Ninja Gaiden. They're now working on, the Neo guys are working on a Final Fantasy Dark Souls game. Called uh, The Strangers from Paradise Final Fantasy Origins. I played the demo. It was on PS5. It's okay. It's very rough. Kind of, it feels like Neo. You know, for better or for worse. Like, Neo is definitely not the most prettiest game. I don't know what engine they're using over there. But, sweet Jesus. It'll always, it looks like, directly like a sequel. Or not even a sequel, just like a spiritual successor to Ninja Gaiden graphically, right? If you put them together, like, yep, that's the same engine as Ninja Gaiden. Um, and this is no different for Final Fantasy Origins. I'm excited for it. Uh, it's tough as bollocks. Uh, but yeah, it's got some really interesting, it has this thing called a Soul Shield. And it's their take on Parian. And it's really cool. It, it's basically like a block. But now the block is like a parry. So if you time it well, it pretty much blocks any attack and, and it opens them up for attack. It was almost almost breaks it to a point. If you get really good at that, I could see people doing no hits, no hit runs and everything. So yeah, there's a potential with that. I don't even think you need to know too much about Final Fantasy for that. You know, most people won't buy into Final Fantasy because of it being, you know, 15, 16, 14. It, it turns people off. But I think you're all good. They all stand alone in their own way. Like, look what's going on with uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Now it's it's after breaking... Oh, look at this. Cool. It's after, we've got an army together. It's after breaking through uh, Steam concurrence and, and Twitch concurrence now as well. And then what's happened? I think it was like a meme as well. you got a couple of big streamers on board. Uh, they have a couple of new big... You know, that game has risen from the ashes time and time again. Once they did a Realm Reborn a couple of years ago. Just completely rose out of the ashes. Because it was almost dead on arrival. Or at least it didn't have a long time as an MMO. But uh, then after that now it's just gone from strength to strength to strength. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Good for them. And now like it's it's doing crazy numbers. I've seen Asmon Gold start playing it. He was getting like fucking 150 or something. 150k. Jesus, that's even big for him. That's what's up, Nazman Gold. That's what's up. Fuck yeah! Alright, that's Miss Jones. I got I got all those songs mixed in my head. Secure a hard hat, huh? Alright, fine. How far with this? So even their cricket turns into this hand glider, by the way. He's a versatile. He's a little robot cricket. He's a versatile little fucker. Uh, look at Bloodborne for guns and big swords. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're dead right. There's so many games that are, are chasing after that. I should show you some uh, concept art image for a uh, sci-fi souls. And it looks like... Think of Bloodborne's gore with a uh, sci-fi and that. Just steel. Blood and steel. I think it, for now it's just concept art, fan art. It may never amount to anything. Elden Ring... Is gonna be their baby for all of next year, I'd say. We might, we might. The fact that it's releasing in January, this is that's really important. We may get some DLC because I think this is what happened with Sekiro. It just, it just released too late, and then everything was kind of, everyone had kind of moved on from it. it never got any DLC. It's super sad. Either did uh, Demon Souls, but things were different back then. It's super sad though because the sixth arch archstone just remains broken even in the remake. Now, like I don't, I know like Blue Point was never gonna make DLC for the remake. It's not their baby. That would be like um, copying someone's homework. You know, that would be that'd be fucked up. Hey, there we go. That was definitely not 20 enemies. Now we don't have to bother with that one as much. Boom! Trophies for days. See. We're doing, we're, now we're playing, as I say, don't, don't, uh, you gotta work smart, not work hard. So, now, now we're, we're going through the story, but we're also keeping an eye out for, uh, things we can do for trophies. Don't you just love it? Along the way. Alright, the next thing we need to do is Wung Fu. So we have to build up our Wung Fu meter, which is like your ultimate. You see it there on the side? Oh, Bollocks, he got me. 
are we? So how mostly to do that you want to do special attacks. When the little comic book guy pops up. And it'll build up super fast that way. You can use any old special modes. See? This guy might die before we get to use it. Ooh. Yeah, he's gonna die before I get to use it. You little shy. Yep. Too weak! I'll be playing control. I have! I'm a huge fan of. That's a remedy. They're a Finnish company. They made Max Payne, dude. I want to play through the whole Max Payne series. Yeah, Control is fucking amazing. Alan Wake, of course, as well. I, I need to play the DLC because they gave it away for free. But yeah, what did you think of Control? It's okay. Yes, it is. It is. I can never think of the name of that series. Um, SCP. Yeah. Dude, they need to make, like, a, a, a game, an SCP, like, big game. I know they did one recently. Was it called, like, Breach Protocol or something? A lot of the big streamer played it and then moved away, sadly. But it was meant as, like, a multiplayer version. SCP is super cool. Like, I, I could see horror movies being made out of it. It's basically, like, genuine. Like, it goes as deep as fucking Area 61. But it starts off as all these creepy monsters that have all been cataloged and been held. And they all break out one by one. But there's some spooky shit, you know? It's like stuff you'd see in Crypt TV or something. Like, fuck yeah. But I'd love to see... It get like a, a, but yeah, Control definitely took a page out of that. Control was pretty cool. You see, each of um, Remedy's games, they kind of have a different premise. So with Alan Wake, it was about like light versus dark in, in this kind of a writer's made up kind of world, you know? So you're messing with that. Then Quantum Break, their other game was all about time. And had Adam, Aaron Ashmore in as well. So that was all about time fucking around with like uh, paradoxes and that. And then we move over to Control. Control was about like fucking uh, weird parallel universes. Oh, you're a good guy. Sorry, I give you a smack in the face. Uh, yeah, like parallel universes and creepy shit. All dimensional stuff, right? Think about that. All dimensions. So it's pretty cool. So you can see there what what remedy are up to. Now th apparently they're working on a, a control tomb. They're working on a control multiplayer game as well. So that's what they're they, they want to do like something like a three v three or a four v four with all those telekinesis powers, which is very much like I do here, where you're lifting up the rocks and fucking them around. I love telekinesis in video games. I love it. Makes you feel so powerful. It has that effect? I love it. Um, that's why I like force the force power is always really cool as well So yeah, like the fridge the fridge was amazing. Oh, it was so amazing And, and, and so it's all from SCP Okay, I didn't know what the inspiration was from because I know like a lot of the hallways and that was very Twin Peaks vibes as well So they took a lot from that and Twin Peaks was always a creepy show really cool But that's yeah, that's the fridge was amazing I think that was probably one of my favorite moments and because you can completely just skirt around it and miss it but I couldn't. Oh, it was so cool. And, like, how they did it. Like, I don't want to spoil or anything what's going on there. But it was just so cool the way you turned the camera around and it made things happen. I love when games fuck with the camera. I know a lot of horror games do it where you'll turn the camera, come back, and get spooked. Like, Layers of Fear is so known for that. And it does get a little gimmicky after a while. But it's fucking genius as well to be able to do something like that. It's really clever. Really, really clever. Now, weirdly enough, that idea of... Uh, you know, making something appear or disappear where the, when the camera's n not there is actually a thing that a lot of the new engines are doing. It's got to do with uh, DLSS as well, which is like deep learning super sampling. And what they're doing now with these new engines is they only render what's right in front of the camera. And they'll kind of almost like, not like make it disappear or anything, but they'll make it look worse or, or less resolution what what's not what's not on camera what's not trained on the camera you know so that when you turn around it'll render in just as fast it's a really cool idea so it it frees up huge amounts of resources now with with a, a DLSS the deep learning super sample and what that does is it allows um, machine learning to up the res of what's going on in, in the game. It's really cool. I, I've talked about it enough. I know I go on and on. But it, that kind of stuff is the future, right? That's just going to make all of our games look better, play better, feel better. It's going to be awesome. So it allowed them basically to only have to render a game, say, in 720p or less. Um, but have it super sampled to 4K. And they've shown what it looks like because uh, certain graphics cards already have this on PC and they've shown it. And it looks better in some cases than 4K native. 
because of the machine learning. How cool is that? Now that's a genuine, clever way to use artificial intelligence. That's what, like, instead of like getting them to clean your house and fucking scratch your ass. <laughs> it's pretty cool, you know? In video games, obviously, you know, not like real world counterparts though. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. How the hell am I gonna get past there? Return to your seafood. Well, luckily we grabbed the fucking fast travel station. Where is it? I swear it was there a minute ago. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Where is it? There it is. Boop. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's cool that you're talking about SCP as well. It's fucking awesome. I love stuff like that. I love, I love that. Like, couldn't, couldn't you imagine that becoming like its own show or movie or something where every, every time they focus on one particular monster. I mean, there's uh, so many games, like you said, that have taken those ideas. Like, I think there's one game that uh, takes the whole idea of a monster chasing you, but you have to blink in the game. And that is literally one of the monsters in SCP, right? Where you blink and he moves. Fucking creepy as shit. I wish I could play some of that stuff, but my PC can't run crap. It literally can't. One time I, I put crap inside of it and it couldn't run it. It ran from it. Ran from the poop. Reason there'll never be a proper SCP game is even movies, because not harmful people. Yeah, exactly. Common shares. Yeah. So it's like a giant modern community. Yeah. And there'll be just so much fighting over money and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I totally feel you on that. It's super sad, though. It's cool that you're into that, for sure. I'm always excited. I, like, I'm addicted to Crypt TV. They make up some incredible, and the production values are next level. I think there's an achievement or a trophy attached to catching one of these little guys. I don't know what the hell they're called, like pippins or something. 20 of them. So if I just grab everything I find around, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Harder than Bosch. Yeah, jukebox. That's fucking cool. I wanted more of that stuff. Now they seem to be wanting to do like a connected universe between Alan Wake and Control. And who knows what else. They might get more in there. They can't do any more Max Payne stuff, which is sad because they sold it to uh, Rockstar after Max Payne 2. So they had no connection to Max Payne 3. Which is crazy, you can kind of tell the difference there. But uh, Max Payne 3 is still a great game though. Uh, but yeah, the, it was one of the first times where uh, a developer just sold an IP. Usually they'd buy the whole developer. But they just sold the IP of Max Payne. It's kind of wild. Kind of wild. Instantly falling over. That's super cool, hell yeah. I bet you that's an incredible like rabbit hole as well. You ever think of like making something like that yourself? Or... Even like fan art, fan fiction, any of that kind of stuff. Boop, so this will get the Wong Fu up pretty fast, right? Boom. Good job. Well, we can always do a little bit of this. Nice. Then we go into super Wong Fu mode. Start doing some crazy shit. Boom! Jesus, you can hear that from a mile away. You son of a bitch, I was about to do a cool move. Come on, man. What's that other way of doing things? Fuck, fuck. Looks like the different types of moves you do lead to different stuff. There we go. I should end him. Hell yeah. Any more? Fire starter. Oh, nice. This one again. Okay, cool. So we're gonna set, set some fires. So kick some tires and light some fires. So burn this down. Lead to another little boss. Fort guards, huh? Ooh, am I supposed to be scared? You guys look like you're ready to run a marathon or, or be shot out of a cannonball. Here, let me facilitate you. Cannonball! Rocket man! Smackadoo! Well, that didn't work. There it is. Get as much of these guys. So then it fills up that bar up the corner. Super Wong Fu. You want to do as many of those moves as you can. We shouldn't be too far away from that trophy either. Stonk. Sorry, I had to do you dirty. 
Yeah, so if you're really good, you can set up the Super Wong Fu again. Nice! Battering Bunker. These names, though. Can I go in here? Nope. Computer said no. Yeah. Do do but like you can see like how big those kind of uh, those horror horror games, horror stories, any of that kind of stuff takes off. I think we were talking about cryptids before, right? Like, geez, that is fueled. Cryptids alone have fueled so many horror movies and stories over the decades, right? Jesus. Like a lot of Godzilla and that was was uh, sponsored or not sponsored. Um, what the fuck am I talking about? Was uh, you know like. If I, can, I can't think of the word, that's why I must have said sponsored. My brain went there. Sponsored. It was inspired by, by cryptoids and that. Even making up your own. I like it. Sponsored. The brain will throw out the worst kind of word vomit. I just want to say more of it. More. Urban legends are the best. Even in, if the back of your mind you know most of them are not true, doesn't matter. There's something just uh, very satisfying in that moment. Just kind of getting lost. It's like getting lost in a good book. I gotta bring up the whole like Denver airport thing a good bit as well. It's so fucking weird. I love weird every day. Or how about that town that it's like they almost fucking call it hell now at this point, but. It's it's on fire like forever. Ram the gate, boing. They like set some coals on fire, and we're gonna we're gonna leave it, and it end up like, cracking into a whole coal vein underneath the whole town, and it's just been burning for fucking fifty or sixty years, probably hundreds of years. I don't know. It's insane. Some people even still live there. Probably off the, off the grid. Sorry, dude. We're getting rid of all the tribes. That's how I feel. I'll even get rid of our, my own tribe at the end if there's an opportunity. Clearly, you guys have divided up this land willy nilly, and look what you've done to the world. Cool. So his his is gonna be the grappling hook. So each tribe have their own tribal weapon. Ours being this cool staff. Now the issue is the tribal weapons are strong, but. You can't upgrade them, sadly. So you're stuck. So it's all got to do with your own stats. But if you're if you're if you really like the weapon, like I like this staff, um, you know it won't matter too much to you. Holy shit! He did that. Wait, there was a move there called Cursed Beaver. How do I do that? Youch! That grappling hook's cool. I want it. Please, sir. Damn. I'm about to get my move off, and he said no. He's the leader of this tribe. We'll get to be able. To, we'll be able to use this now. We also have a bladed uh, boomerang, which is not bad as a ranged weapon, but I think it hurts you sometimes if you don't catch it right, which is clever. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of range being a boomerang and all. Let's end him. Let us join us! Join us, little one. Alright. Side by side, they'll stand until order and stability. It's kind of like the emperor. Alright. Got news the other tribes to realize there's no winners in this war. There's no purpose. Antagonism. Oh, okay. Remaining tribes. Way it seems you've been forced into the opposition. Your tribe didn't start the war, but it's fallen to you to end it. It's clear your way of waging war has been successful. And now the tribes have experienced the wars are ready to do whatever it takes to make it end. Ooh. Reject the offer. Make your choice. Accept the surrender of the remaining tribes. You will not participate in their conquest. Hmm. Reject the offer. Continue participant conquest. All right, maybe we can fight the war leader quicker this way. Let's see. They probably won't all accept it. Damn. Leader of the pack. I made uh, SCP entry stuff. Okay, cool. Post the item because the SCP site is very strict. Oh. I thought it'd be a bit more open. Is it strict in terms of just quality? Do they judge stuff, or or how is that? 
I assume like there's probably a certain amount of uh, it's like a uh, must must be some kind of like judging panel. Oh, look at this. These are all the other tribes. We get to decide their fate now. Holy shit! Let's hope I didn't. Hopefully, I can still go after these outposts. Up, oh, Shay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Who knows? Nice. Damn, my dad had to call just as I fucking started streaming. Oh, God damn it. Hope nothing's on. That should be ours. All right. Whew. The dragon. Awesome. Defeat or subdue all five. Oh, wow. I, I, yep. I think I just uh, skipped through a whole lot of stuff there. Nice. Now we get the grappling hook. I can't wait to try this out. The claw chain, as they call us. It. It's like a freaking harpoon. I want to try that out immediately. Oh, where is it? I have to go into my weapons. It's hotter than hell. Uh, let's see, quest? No. Where the hell is this? Where are you? Oh, here we go. Favorite. That's probably what that's about. I don't see it. Oh yeah, that's where it would be. It'd be, in, it'd be in, it would must be a ranged one, is it? Yeah. All right, now we just gotta fight something to fight it. Wait, we can get out here quick, can we? Oop! Sorry, lads. Gotta do a little test on this claw. What's that claw? I wonder, can it help us grapple our places? Damn, you hate to see all this rain. So pretty. Would you ever react to SCP mini movies on YouTube? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I think, I think if we, uh, you know, if things get a bit bigger, get a lot of people. I wouldn't mind doing all that stuff. I mean, I've noticed like with the daily dose and that, I am just kind of reading out a lot of news articles and that, so it does kind of feel a little reactionary. I don't mind that. But yeah, that stuff is cool. I mean, I feel like uh, there's a lot of things lately. A lot of reactionary stuff. A lot of people are just getting into... It's funny, like a lot of the bigger streamers, they're getting into a lot of the like the criminal stuff now lately, which is funny. Because I had been watching that stuff for years. A lot of them just kind of are circle jerking, though. They're clever. One watches something, and the other guy... Weeks later, days later, sometimes even we'll just start watching it as well. That kind of cracks me up. They're just circle jerking the same. They're probably all watching each other's stuff and they're like, oh, I'll react to that then. Some of it's like an hour long. And I'll tell you the power of the, you know, their channels and Twitch in general. Watch an hour long YouTube video. It's like, boom, no problem. Easy. 50k watchers. It's like, damn. Damn. <laughs> and then you've got like uh, the watch parties, Amazon. Prime Video have kind of been pushing a good bit for that. That's kind of cool. All right, we found something. Let's use this. Whoa! Okay, so it sends you flying over to him. Then what? This kind of guy. Ooh, new Wung Fu. Okay, let's check that out. Nice. The Eternal Swan. Flycatcher Lock. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, Jump and shoot. Neo Slide. But does it do any damage though? Throw the grabber in a white egg. The special attack. It name will flip will fill up. Okay. Let's try that. What? Dude, this guy's gonna just mulchify me. 
damage. Okay. Let's try the boomerang. Yeah, this guy's fucking me up. I thought there was a trophy for using three of them in combat. Nope. Maybe... Three of them together, maybe? The Dreaded Sheep. The name of these moves is so funny. Holy fuck! Nope, not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Oh, there it is. The dreaded sheep. Ha 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 ha. This must be his last form. Watch out, this stuff has killed me immediately before. Damn, oh my god. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, the power of that breath! Wow. I think that's where you might want to switch it up. But we are wearing the right stuff. I don't know how I feel about the grappling hook so far. I only see it bringing you closer to the enemy. Who is breathing toxic shit. So I don't think that's a good idea there. Damn, the power. He's not even that strong. It's just, yeah. They will fuck you up with that breath attack. I want to fight him again though. I don't know where he was. Where was he? Where did you bring me? Never find him again. <sighs> Swear to God. Checkpoints be damned. Just thrown into oblivion. Alright. Did it did say there was... Can it, is there any moves I can get? That was the one I was doing. Okay, cool. I'm over this Savage Storm. Holy shit, that's so cool. That would not work. Oh, Savage Stork. I didn't read that right. I wouldn't work on a big guy, though. It's cool though, if you're gonna pick them up and spin them around and throw them around the place. Nice. Yes, it's Chris, but uh, it's strict in the sense to judge the entries. Yeah, I was thinking that. Whole list of rules to follow, writing them up, connected similar to articles. Jesus. Sounds pretty uh, intimidating for sure. I suppose it's th they're trying to uh, curate, you know, the, the best ones. But then. The, the, the problem with that is there's always going to be a little bit of, um, you know, bias and, you know, just the kind of way it goes. Whereas, still, they'll have their favorite stories and their, their favorite people putting in stories. Hopefully you'll get something in there, man. That'd be cool. You know, you'd be surprised how uh, a lot of these things start out like that. Oh, I think I found it. You know, I've seen a lot of up and coming like musicians and movie directors, movie writers, screenplay writers that have got their start on things like YouTube and that. It's fucking wild. All right, bitch, round two. How the fuck does he know where I am before I even know where I am? Why are you not equipped with your weapons, you little shit? Jeez. All right. Definitely not what I'm after. Death is crass, but... There is one. Yeah, don't want that. That's about. There's a trophy for using all a tree tribal weapons or something like that. So we'll find out what the fuck that one's about. Oh yeah, it's okay. The name tree bang balls. Yeah, I think that's these two. I think I've missed, or at least one of them. Here we go. Defeat enemies using three different tribe weapons. Do you have like the? Does that mean like the final hit? I don't know what the fuck that means. I don't know what the fuck that means. Explain yourself. 
fuck your stupid poison shits. I want to see what kind of move this is. Jesus! Dude, this guy is fucking next level. Where is my guns? Is this the one? I think so. Holy bollocks, I just healed! My tongue is insane as well. I have died many times. Holy shit! Nope, 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 nope. Wow! What that tongue do though? Oh, that's what it do. Ow! Freddy Krueger nails, watch out! Oh no, I'm stuck. We're just gonna have to sit here and whoop that ass. Fuck! Every time that breath is a game over. Damn! Oh, dragon breath. That guy needs an Altoid. Ah, it's probably too late for him. Just gonna have to sew him up. Sew the mouth up. That sucks. Alright, let's just find some normal enemies. Does it really want me to try and defeat them with the grappling claw? That's like when you're given, you know, just fight enemies with your bare fists. Good luck. That's just brought me straight back there. Whatever it is about unequipping my weapons, you can die in a fire for that, thank you. Oh, a lot of overlaps, Oh, Probably been a lot of like drama as well, has there? If that's the case, if they're that strict, that is something that would usually bring about a lot of drama in the community. The SCP community. Yeah, what was the name of that, that newest game that was out? Like multiplayer. Something protocol or something, was it no? Damn, you can't be doing a turn of my health, you little strike. That's why it's probably best just to fight this guy. Range. dead yes oh we got like 500 experience for that i tell you how strong those guys are who oh, doggy i can't feel my feet whose feet are these we need to get out of this rain man this shit's depressing i see enough of it every day fuck out of here who's this mozork all right little mini boss let's do it hopefully this will get us out of the rain I was caught in the rain. Caught in the rain. Mm -mm. Nope. Bing, 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 bing. How's it going, man? I like your music. I like it. Bing, 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 bing. It's got like some oriental funk about it. Okay, where is this guy's camp? I'm on the way. I see it up ahead. Fly! Yeah, it was kind of cool. Carry on my way, work John. Good lord, the heat. Sun is just burning off now. Okay, we're going for about two hours. Nice. Alright. That's fine, boy, mate. Let's do this little place. We'll switch over now shortly. I can't believe you've done this. See, I think uh, by the time 
when you do the last world eater, the game is very much going to be like, uh, time to end this. Uh-oh. Big mom in the house. What an incredible camera shot. Hello? Good God. A beautiful view there. Of the fucking wall. Clearly the mamas and the papas here. I got skills. They multiplying. As I slide through your legs. <laughs> Psych. Nice. You want some too, bitch? Fuck out of here. Nice. And all the goodies are ours. It's a really nice combat system. I like it. The rule, the rule of three when it comes to uh, combat, it works, you know? Melee, guns, magic. It works. I like it. It's why Fable is so revered. Keep those basic principles and then create depth around them and gameplay around them and combos around them. You're golden. It doesn't have to be all complicated. You're golden, pony boy. Stay golden. Not that much controversy from what I know. That's good, I'm glad. Like Marvel, yeah, that's cool. I just meant like between creators, so I'm glad. Because it does not seem doesn't seem that there's a single fandom out there that is not without its uh, controversies. This is crazy to think of. Social media. It's on social media as well. I used to like uh, writing stories as a kid. Can we free this guy up here? Hello, buddy. Obi Wan. The, the rain has finally passed. Did you just... Alright, buddy. You're welcome. Secret laboratory. There we go. Thank you. I couldn't think of it. I watched some of them play it. I had a lot of potential. For sure. Oh, there's another loop left. And there's a board game. Working on SCP Foundation. Yeah, which yeah, which one is the multiplayer one? I wonder. It's, it's gotta be here somewhere. Where are you hiding? One last piece of loot. Is that it? Mm -mm. Gotta be golden. There we go. Golden years. Angel. Hmm. Weird. Alright, what's that done? Do 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 do. Can do the sundial now that the goddamn rain has passed. Is it somewhere we can fast travel? Yep. Could even fast travel here, could we? Love that they call it satellite dishes ping discs. Ping. Are you a fan of FNAF and all that? Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't think there's a single person, a single teenager around that age that hasn't come in contact with it somewhere. Thanks to the bigger YouTubers. I never really got into it myself, but that's another fandom that's gone quite mad. Boop. It's impressive how far that series can take taken off. I think about how all that starts, right, is through YouTubers or like kids watching things that scare the shit out of them. How is it nighttime now, son of a bitch? These can only be done in daytime, hence why they're called sundial. Maybe you can get lucky. 
Yes, yes. Yes, yes indeed. Side quest completed. Huh? What you talking about, Willis? I didn't do anything. There is a way of waiting, changing the time of day, but it, uh, you need a campsite. As far as I know, there's no way of making one. What is this? Stuff everywhere. What is this? Some treasure chest hanging out. A lot of games have kind of been adopting the whole like pause and change the time and all that. So, you know what? I feel like it might have been something that was brought over from MMOs, but The Witcher kind of made it big as well. Genshin Impact lets you deal with it as well. I don't know if this does. Didn't I get like some kind of little campsite or something? What is that? Oh, yeah, it's the different ammo you can use. See, there's room for all these mechs here. You know, there's so much. I just gotta figure them out. I wanna show them all off before, like, I finish the game and that. It's probably somewhere part of. Say, question that. Ding, ding, ding. Let's see, if I go to a nearby fort, might help. See, I'm not sure how much time passes when you fast travel. It seems to be a lot. I want to repl replay a control. Yeah, holy hell. Have you played any of the DLC? One of them tries to connect uh, Alan Wake. So if we come over here, right, and it's fucking daytime. And we fast travel back over there, and it's fucking nighttime again. So, what the hell am I doing wrong here? What in the hell? If it's too far, I'll have to just, uh, if it goes nighttime again. I'll have to just run over here as fast as I can. It's clearly doing it's 12 hours or something. FNAF is fine. Sweet Jesus. Someone's fucking with me now. Someone is fucking with me. It's night time again. Not cool. Might be a cool story, bro, but not for me. Uh, yeah, it was a... Uh, lore was interesting to begin with, but now the fandom is a lot like Undertale's... Oh, there we go. I'm glad you uh, agree. Um, I, 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 this is what I try and say about people. There's very rarely bad games. It's usually like a small vocal minority turns into a little bit of toxic fan base, but not the whole fan base. Undertale was one of those. Holy fuck! I blame, I blame websites like Tumblr and all that. It really just breed the obsession, you know. A lot of, a lot of very, very talented artists, you know, a lot of creativity, absolutely. It's just endless. But unfortunately, there's a small selection of that where it just gets so creepy. That's the only way I put it. Even some of these young aged people, it's like, Jesus. And they get into, you know, things like Tumblr and all that. And that just, yeah, there's nothing is ever regulated or fucking nobody gives a shit. So they're, they're being open to all this really fucked up stuff, even at a young age. And it warps their mind. And it just makes even weirder shit happen. And you hear all these fucking horror stories. People going off the deep end. But yeah, even like... Toby Fox has said it himself. He's like... He kind of sort of wishes he never made the game. Which is wild, you know? He's like, I have more money than I know what to do with. But I, I, I have absolutely no peace. He can't go anywhere. He can't do... You know, it's, it's horrible. It's the price of fame and all that. But still... Jesus. Look when he made Delta Rune, like it was fucking crazy. And then your whole life is under a magnoscope. Or a microscope. What the fuck's a magnoscope? It's probably a real thing. 
the dude from who did FNAF, like he he's now gone into retirement over nonsense. Like whatever, dude, you supported Trump, whatever, like stupid decision, but I don't I don't think it's something to be cancelled over. There's a lot of people who supported and and donated to that fucklord. Now he's retired with a whole bushel of oranges. He's joined his people. Alright, so you do that and it shines a light on a cool now you won't know where the cave is until you shine a light. You go over to the cave and you get some goodies. That's the sundial puzzle. You just gotta match the shadow. I did it very fast there, but just match the shadow with the sundial. It only works during the day. Which is a clever mechanic. I like stuff like that. I told you this this game they they throw everything at, at, at the at the wall. There's so many ideas going at once. Not all of them stick to landing. But I, I if I was to say like a way to make it better, I can't quite pin down anything because as much as the gibberish kind of makes you turn off because I know it's something that worked in Banjo Kazooie and all that because it was new and different and, and voice acting wasn't really that much of a thing back then. But it's, ah, it doesn't really work nowadays, not that well. But then Pure Silence. I don't know, it's a funny one. It's a funny one. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I think certain series get away with things because of the way they are. Like, Breath of the Wild is a pretty quiet, chill game, you know? Just, just run around the world. You're not really talking or speaking to anybody. Link doesn't speak in general. It's never really something you, you think about. But when you go into these villages, you talk to people. But yeah, that's a, that's a funny one. A 6k Sunday. 6k! 12 consoles! 6 monitors! Yeah. I don't know how to. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be really good DLC. It's called A. A W E. Like for all. The, I think they spoke about it in the game. But then they put a secret meaning behind it. Very much like CSP as well. The more you talk about that, the more it makes me think of it. But A W E also means like. Uh, I think it was meant to be like all alternate world events. But they also make it sound like Alan Wake event. Because of them wanting to tie those worlds together. Which I think is fucking amazing. I would love to see a, a, an expanded universe be formed there, you know? Because Quantum Break could fit in there as well. Yeah, but all their games have been shooters, you know? With, with extra little, you know, points to the genre. But it's always shooter first. You know, it might be third person shooter. Third person story. But it's, uh, they are, yeah, they're specializing shooters. It's always been their thing. I don't, I don't think they've done a single game that hasn't been a shooter. If you want to call them that. They're much more than that, obviously. I love these little, these little glow birds in here. I think they do a, a really good job on it. Oh shit, camera, be nice. Hong Kong Fui, number one super guy. Damn, every time I try and hit him with that, he fucking gets me. There it is. Finish him! Nice. Didn't like that one now, did you, Jimmy? I think we'll get more vitality because I've been feeling it at last if I kick my ass. Yeah, talented artists that use their arteries for the worst. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, like, you don't, you're not trying to, everybody's into their own stuff. There's a lot of, you know, not safe for work artists out there. That doesn't necessarily mean 
it's bad or anything. Oh, it's still, it's still beautiful. But there's a lot of there's a lot of sick puppies out there as well. Sadly, you, you see it pop up from time to time. Especially if people are getting cancelled here and there, it's like Jesus. So when you've got those fandoms that you know can have such a wide demographic. You're gonna have these situations, as horrible as it sounds, where you've got 12 year olds, clearly shouldn't be on these websites, you know, mixing with fucking 40 and 50 year olds that are maybe a little bit gone. Or so, you know, that kind of way. I, I think that's fucking crazy. Where nobody, just nobody gives a fuck. Nobody's watching out for anybody else. So it breeds a lot of uh, fucked up shit, for sure. It all stems from like, I don't know, like obsession or something. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Is it just a, a, a feeling of wanting to just belong or be part of something? These fandoms, you know? It's like, I, we, I like this and all these people like this too. Is that it? Is that what it kind of comes from? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. It happens with a lot of stuff. The newest thing, well, it's probably not that new anymore, but that uh, Friday Night Funkins, whatever, it's the same thing happen all again. The same thing is happening again, the same way it happened with Undertale. I actually think that most of the Undertale fan base has just moved over to that Friday Night Funkin' shit. It's the same thing. And immediately as you want to start getting into and looking into these things and maybe playing them, it, it turns you off. It turns me off immediately. I don't want to touch, go near these fucking things at all. Because it's just unbelievable. Like, whatever you do, don't Google search these games. Because about two scrolls down and you're seeing some not safe for work fucked up shit. It's like, God damn! Can we just, can we just have something? So when people say about wanting more gory games, I feel you. I do. But when everything's been turned into rule 34, rule 32... Nothing sacred anymore. Maybe it's nice to have a game like this. It's a bit more on on the on the you know the wholesome side. As we go around murdering little beasts. Bonk. Should be crazy, man. Can I get in there? I can see the little berry. Maybe you have to do it from that side. That was one of those things I have to learn the hard way. Trying to get into those berries so we can feed the mounts. I think we have like a big chunk of the mounts, the horses and, and all of the gnotes as they're called. But in terms of the automatons, the mechs, we don't have half of those. There's meant to be flying mounts as well. And I, I'm nearly sure I saw in one of the trailers that you could ride around on the balloon. So we got to figure that out too. Okay, we're going to... Head back to what the heck are these? Are you friendly? Come here, yellow shite. Oh, keep the creature. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe I've been fucking up this whole time. Just keep it. Which seems to be the neutral option. Fuck it. Just pick them all up and keep them from now on. Oh, here's a big chungus. Hello? Hello? Oh fuck, you've got friends. Woo! Look at the height you get. It's wild. Don't be afraid. He went fucking flying. Oh, he's dead already. God damn. Everyone's dying too quick. Oh no, he's dead too. Damn, dude. Don't you die on me, Wilbur. I've never seen enough. Yeah, I know. Is it rule 34? I always get rule 34 and rule 32 mixed up. I have. I have seen some crazy shit. It's, it cracks me up. This is, it knows no bounds. It's like, god dang. It, it, it actually seems to be the more animated things get, the more depraved. <laughs> like, good god! Oh, you like, you grew up. Some of these series you grow up with. And you see what people, <laughs> people have done to them? You're like, oh my god. Like, poor poor Zelda from Legend of Zelda. 
Apparently, she, apparently to these artists, she has done some heinous stuff. God lord. I need to figure out how to do the oil parts. Is this considered oil? This oil? Oil! So we could bring them over here. Yeah, I think it is. So it works like quicksand in the game. If you just stay there, you'll sink down and die. You don't want to be doing that. Oh, fuck. I already did it. All right. We got to find out a way to do this. That's fine by me. We found some. This could be a cool trophy to get. <sighs> Where are you keeping all these animals? Exactly. In the prison pocket. In the back passage. Dude, it did not sound like a great name for a trophy. It was like... Drown five enemies. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. It's an anthropomorphic game. Like, let's not talk about drowning animals. There you go. Drown. <laughs> Drown. Tar up. Alright. Yeah, tar up, everybody. That's fucked up. It's fucked up, dude. Damn it, I hate when they have that little... Uh, gap. So how exactly do you drown them? Oh, that's not a bad idea. Okay, we can try that. All right, let's hope it loaded as close. So you have this cool little bubble um, magic attack that I have been using. A good bit. We'll uh, just have to go in and... And what it'll do is... It's kind of cool and gross at the same time. It'll stick smaller enemies to it. It's literally called Mucus Bubble. Yeah. Pretty nasty. But it's super fun too. So they said the best thing to do there's the oil t pit over there is to get into the Mucus Bubble and basically pop the music mu Mucus Bubble over the oil. Oil! But what's to stop me from dying? Who knows? Oh, I thought there was some enemies over here. There was. Alright, we'll do this and then I'll move over. But I think, I think actually, if I go back to him, I can actually fight the world eater. Here we go. I might be able to pick up these three guys. Here we go. There's one. There's... <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna... We're gonna head over here. Come on. Don't be afraid. Pop. There you go. Oh, he's not in it. Oh, he is. He is. Alright, cool. So am I, though. Oosh. Right, there. Are they gonna actually sink? I can't tell if they're sinking or not. Very slowly if they are. Maybe they won't because they're like... Come on, lads. What the fuck? Will you sink? Sink with me! Sink for the year! Alright, they might not sink because they're actually little... Sink! You gotta find some normal enemies. Maybe because they're little tire monsters, they don't sink. Sink for the left and sink for the year. <sighs> the foundation and EWR, the two DLCs I'm replaying the game now. Alright, cool. Let me know how they are. So exactly how do you drown them animals? <laughs> Jesus, the keyboard types, yeah. Oh, I didn't know you guys could hear that. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That one's going to come back to home with lol. No, these guys are still over here. You little shorts. Come here. Prison pocket time. Hey, I love my prison pocket. You better. I actually am wearing a little backpack. I love, I love my little calendar girl. I love my little prison pocket. Oh, that's number 301. Nice. You gotta make number 343 three, something about Halo. Quote number 237. 90% of water in that game is my piss. Nice. Nice. This is true. This is true. I have a lot of piss to give. Yes. Many piss babies. <laughs> I have a friend recently just absolutely had me cracking up talking about piss baby. Piss babies. It seems like the perfect insult where the person would be like equally confused. And offended. <laughs> That's the perfect insult. If you can manage to do both of those things, you're winning. Alright, it's just water. Nasty. I wonder what, what part of Resident Evil that was. Resident Evil. 
piss. E-A, piss. It's in my ass. Piss! Out my ass. Damn it, we've got the perfect little pool here. I just don't know where to go. Those guys didn't give two shiny shits about it, so I don't want to do that. Ding, 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 ding. And it was on this day of days it pissed up my ass. I have been to many oil fields in this game. It seems like that was the thing that destroyed the whole world, all the oil. A lot of bi biological disasters. <laughs> Trying to find some of the areas. I don't think they show up too well. Uh, this area, suburbia, might have uh, had a lot of them. <laughs> So I'm doing now is trying to find another oil field place. How about up here, the spark plant? I don't, I don't think so, mate. This place is called the Yerp Field. Yerp. Oh, we could also come over here. Ooh, this is the dead zone. But I think most of these areas were all made of oil. Oil. These can't all be the Europe fields. I don't know what the hell that's about. Talking now, Jayus. Open up the safe, bitches. Got a lot to say. That's my new national anthem. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't even see the balloon on this one. This feels like it could be somewhere. Darn this stuff. Strap in, strap on. Oh, Jesus. The Audi engine. <laughs> what the hell? I don't remember that one. Oh. Audi, um. The, yeah. Resident Evil Reverse. I don't know what the fuck they were going for with that. I don't think I think they end up having delayed the shit out of or something, right? I don't know. I wanted it to be good. I did. Okay, have we got a fast travel here at all? Have we? Have we? Have we? Have we? Here's one here. Right, I, I was I've been looking at this. This is like a weird little oil field. If this, I think I've been here before. This isn't the right place. I bet you this is pretty much where we just was. Alright, we'll go kind of north. I gotta find enemies that are not made out of the oil. Because those guys were not sinking. They were doing some kind of weird belly flop. Belly flop! That's another thing as well. The, the, the tar fields. Aren't they still in LA? They're kind of wild. Can you imagine what they could have underneath them, you know? They can... And that stuff will just preserve it for thousands of years. That kind of shit interests the hell out of me. You'd have like perfectly preserved dinosaurs or something. Alright lads, how's it going? We're not fighting them. We're looking for some oil fields. Because you go from something as beautiful as that tree there. To oil fields. Alright. Looks like they might be over here somewhere. Holy shit. Let's give it a shot, mate. Sorry about the context is amazing. Right? Uh, you guys are the ones clipping it and quoting. It's all you guys. Not me, I swear. I want to put them all in a little book. A little, and then just sell it. Do it.
So what am I deaf from? <laughs> They're not safe for anything. For human consumption. Definitely not safe for human consumption. Don't eat books, please. Oh, no, I don't use any enemies around here. Oh, well. Might as well just die. Where are all the enemies at? You are in water. No, my friend. I am in oil. Goodbye. Ah! Where are all the enemies gone? I'm trying to do the good thing and drown a couple of animals. Like, Jesus, there's a bit of context for you. Yeah, I, I did. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Resident Evil Resistance was super fun. I wish they'd pumped more. It was basically Dead by Daylight in Resident Evil. And now we've got Resident Evil and Dead by Daylight. I really enjoyed that. Spicy water, right? Oh, God. That's just sparkling water for white people, right? <laughs> this water is too spicy. It's just sparkling water, for feck's sake. That's too spicy. Now, these guys I could probably... But I, I don't know if I could... They'd probably de-aggro by the time I get over there. Jeez, you the big guy get into it. Okay, all right, he's got he's clipping through the world. I never meant to make you cry, but tonight we're drowning some animals. Look, this I didn't make up this. I swear. Oh, this might actually work. Oh no, they exploded beforehand. Bolt. Damn, and now he's running back to his aggro area. Absolute snowsberry. Oh. Why does the keeper? Ah, oh, I keep running out. That's why. Damn it! I'm gonna be the one drowning here. Fuck. Yeah, that's why you can't drag them that far. Go, man. Go. Go, go, man. No! Why does it keep doing that? No! You're pissing me off. Oh, he's drowning. I'll take that. Shh. Don't look. Don't. Don't look. There usually is enemies around here, I swear to god, you go in there, there's actually, um, it's so poisonous that you will die from asphyxiation. There's usually enemies around here. Not so much. I think I cleared this place out. It's what I like about you. You really know how to dance. Fuck, you, I can't even tell what, where the oil is anymore. Alright, we're looking for an oxygen suit. Nope. Look at him, he's even all covered in oil here. That's so sad. That's so sad. Where's the oxygen suit? Damn it, they should just sort. Maybe I can do it alphabetical. That might work if they're all like anti oxygen and all that. Cold, anti heat. Nope. Value. I've too much shit. Look at this. Oh my god. Let's go alphabetical and just find oxygen. That doesn't find it. It's only a card. It's only a card. No. Where the fuck is the oxygen suit? Have we passed it like six times? Ah! The biohazard. This stuff is from the dev as well, which is kind of cool. Dude, I definitely picked up the oxygen suit, right? Oh, it's, oh, would it be airtight? That's what they've called it. Uh, whoever named that, you're done. Pack your bags. You're sacked immediately. It's called airtight suit. Airtight. Couldn't have just called it, you know, oxygen. Fuck! Nice. No. Will these guys sink at all? Oh, he will. That one. That one. Oh, no, he didn't. I don't, maybe he sank. sank. I don't know. Oh, holy fuck. Jesus Christ, lads. Wow. Oh, so that bubble never. Never comes back. Okay. 
That's what's wrong. I think I think it's the oil that's popping it. <laughs> Fucking hair tickling me. Stop it! Get some help. Get some French fries. Jack of potatoes. I still think those guys don't don't think though. I don't think that it. <gasps> oh my god, that's really annoying. You're going in, bitch. Dude, it sent him to the fire side. That's all the normal ass enemies. People wonder why I don't do a lot of trophies on on stream because the honest to god it's like fucking Murphy's Law. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. All I wanna do is just drown some animals for the trophy. All I want in game. That's what you have to say now. That's the new thing. Twitch here is in game, they'll just turn off. It's all good. How come this guy came with us? I wonder. Gotta be some kind of eight uh size. Can you come with us too? Cool. Now you guys are gonna stop fighting. Cause we're gonna drown you. No, he don't give a fuck about that. That guy went in though. No, he didn't. Damn. I think when they're de-aggroed, they just don't care. They can actually survive, apparently. Good for you. I don't care fucking do. How do you teach me how to survive in the oil, you little bitch? Not since I'm flying that way. How about... We use telekinesis to throw him, maybe. Sorry, but it's just an experiment gone very wrong. Did it work? Okay, we could do that. <laughs> yeah, the announcer and plays, places down zombies. Yeah, it was really cool. I actually found it... Dare I say it, don't tell anybody, but... I found it more fun than Dead by Daylight. Because Dead by Daylight is the same shit. It's like... Generators. Okay, 15 minutes waiting in the lobby. Generators. It's the same shit. It's the same shit. It's got a cool premise, but can we get something else to do besides generators? We've got all these cool characters from hundreds and hundreds of movies combined. But no one talked to give them something to do. Scooby Dooby Doo. That's what you should put in there. Put Scooby Doo in there. I think we're gonna die here. Fuck! Fuck! Alright, this might be a way of cheating us anyway. Many, many people did it say. <laughs> Fuck off, Chester St. Cloud. Wow. Some of them are oddly misspelled, and, and you know what? I'm I'm here for that. Because I like the misspellings. Because it makes the context even con more confusing. But yeah, I like I really like the maps in uh, Resistance as well. That one where that you're in like a museum, that was really cool. That was really damn cool. Come on, bitch. All right, we gotta find a better way of doing this. I'm I'm very surprised there's not more enemies around. It's my own fault. Clean out the place too much. Let's try around the front, maybe. This place is nasty. Uh-oh. Can you get out? That was a close one. Almost pooted. But over here in all these uh, solar panels. Sorry, buddy, you're going in. Damn. How did he. How did you manage to find the one little bit with no oil in it? Absolute mad lad. Hey! This thing. I've noticed it counts uh, trophies and all that very weird. Because it said I had got all the altars. And I'm still collecting altars now. Hey! Spracken! Oh, you're in combat. Bollocks. 
Most of the time you want to fast travel out of combat. So them not letting you fast travel because you're in combat. Do you see the dilemma here? Do you? Hmm? Do you, do you, do you, do you wanna? What the? What is it? Which, which, which is cool. Oh, uh, resin, yeah, resistance, yeah. Now they're trying to focus on uh, reverse, a reverse, yeah. Which uh, I have never really got to play. I tried to stream it and they fucked up the beta so much. Now I think they've just kind of delayed it. Maybe it'll come out. I don't know. Maybe too much time has passed. It has more potential. It's true, like, multiplayer. It ha they have characters from all the games in it. And plays Jack and Mr. X and everything. Where is the front of this? Did he close it? Yellow. There it is. Probably tell us. Sorry. Cold blood. Yeah. Consequence of the war. Okay. The last yeah, world leader has been left undisturbed with the tree while you focus on the war. Yeah, Caught someone with the light perspective and key would not different priorities face the world leaders. Okay. Tribe war is over for now. Alright, buddy. Let's go find him. That open up that quest. Ooh. Still, there's still a tribe over there. So that's why he wouldn't show us that they kind of lock them off a little bit till you handle other things. Who is, who is Khalifa? Uh, okay, so the, you see, he's literally right there. Look at him. Oh my God. What is he? He looks like Chewbacca if he was wearing like a little scientist outfit. What the fuck? Is he floating? What's his tail? What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Cool. Alright, how many? What, how many? The what the fuck? Right? What the fuck? What the fuck? That last one's so loud that it actually scares the shit out of me. Uh, so what are we up to now? We're up to 23 out of 46. So we're like literally halfway. Awesome. A lot of these you just wrap up. Defeat enemies. Discover like... You wrap those up, no problem. No problem! What the fuck? Alright, come. Cool. Let's move over and do some demon trolls. I gotta go. I gotta go change the stream title. I gotta go tinkle. 